Hello YouTube, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to the live stream. Today we're playing a bunch of weird, wacky horror games, starting with this one, which is an observation duty game that I got many suggestions for, which usually I'm the one who finds the niche weird observation duty games. This time you guys found them for me. Uh, it's one that you can play single player or multiplayer. We're playing it single player today. Uh, and it looks very wacky and we'll see how it goes. I don't know how long we're gonna be playing this one. I don't know how hard it is to beat it. And then after that, I have a bunch of other games. I got my red equals scary sweater on because that's gonna what we're gonna be seeing a whole lot today. Also, look what I, when I first opened the game, this is on the title screen. Warning, this version may crash the or cause the game to crash. It's, it's stated as if I have to do something about that. This is the only version of the game that exists. So I don't know. They're basically just saying, sorry, my game sucks or my game's going to crash. Not necessarily sucks, but I don't I don't know what I have to do with this information. Like, thank you, I guess. <laughs> it's like it's like that one guy in class who always uh, try to tries to underplay his performance. So when it like when he sucks, it doesn't it, it doesn't come back to hurt him. <laughs> like I already said I was bad at this. Uh, <laughs> that's this game right now. Anyway, we'll see if it's actually going to crash. Uh, and I continue, I haven't played this game, so I'm just gonna hop in and we'll see how it goes. And low expectation, exactly. They're setting us up for low expectations. All right, new game. Oh, difficulty selections. Easy anomalies are in order. Normal anomalies in each chapter are random. What? And then hell, <laughs> which I can't even do yet. I think we'll do normal. We'll do normal. Here we go. Anomalies in each chapter are random. Normal, start game. Oh, hello there. Go some balls. Hmm? Huh? Is this huh? live footage? What is happening? Huh? <laughs> what am I watching? <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm sucked into the game. Uh, all right, <laughs> let's go, I guess. There we go. Hello. What the hell? That's so many languages. If you find an anomaly, press the button bottom button from the elevator you come from if you don't find anomaly press the bottom button from another elevator okay so if we see an anomaly we go back through the one that we came in through and if we don't see an anomaly we go to the next one all right makes a lot of sense i'm assuming the first one's going to be clear if you return to floor zero you can use the top button to review the previous floor interesting so you can learn what your mistake was Orange light outside the elevator means you are starting from this elevator. Okay, then. Uh, give me one second. <coughs> I have to cough. <clears throat> I'm okay. I'm not dying. Uh, hi there. There's a sir standing. I can see my own body. Uh, I got white clothes on. Hello there. I'm very echoey footsteps. What's this guy doing? Hello, guy. Are you good? Can I crouch in this game? I can't zoom in in this game. You want to talk to me? He's just chilling. I'm assuming we have to pay attention to this. This floor is going to be normal. So let's take a cursory glance. What I like to do in these observation duty type games is just take a quick glance and see how hard things are going to get. Because sometimes things are going to be very obvious. Other times you have to pay super close attention. So let's just uh, count stuff. We got a few paintings here. We got city. We got a forest. We got benches. Pretty much all around. Uh, coffee machine. Caution wet floor. Uh, how many doors? We got six doors total. I see. Um, can I turn down the footstep noise? Because it is driving me nuts. Uh, I'll turn it down to 70. Because holy shit, that's loud. <clears throat> uh, this guy is sitting here, which he's uh, he's just staring ahead of himself. He's not looking at me. We got a few calendars right there. A trash can, a bunch more benches. Literally the same painting as before. That's easy to remember. Um, first aid kit. Just some unattended medicine in a hospital, as you do. Totally not the health code violation. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's normal. Uh, and then a bunch of paintings together, a big plant. And I think that's enough for me, at least, uh, to figure out the first few anomalies. And we'll see how that goes. So I'm assuming that was clear. So I click the button. Oh, and then we get to redo if we if we made a mistake. We'll be so messed up if they gave us an anomaly on the first one. <laughs> Totally normal doctor behavior. Any doctors in the chat? That's totally normal, right? It is definitely already very different because there is... Oh, wait, you're moving back and forth. I see. Because we're mirrored now. I'm assuming that is fine because this was at the end of the hallway last time and that guy was at the very beginning of the hallway previously. Uh, unless... 
it's not supposed to be mirrored in which case <laughs> this one is very difficult okay maybe we're playing a very hard observation duty game three clocks yeah were there always i never looked behind me i'm assuming there's not supposed to be three clocks above the elevator that seems very strange so i think i'm gonna go backwards i don't think that was the case hello sir you're still there uh, everything else seems to be in order, but I did not know we were gonna have to work it in mirror, which is kind of an interesting twist. Uh, I'm gonna go backwards. Six, six, six clocks. Oh, they were all pointed at six. I didn't see. Was that correct? Did I see the floor number anywhere? Is it gonna go up to two? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that was an anomaly and it was indeed the clocks. Okay, so we actually have to do it always. Well, not always in reverse. Probably if we're gonna go to the end one, then we're gonna be going the other way around again. All right, anyway, we have trash can. Uh, water dispenser again. So they can be sneaky. Oh, there's a door open there. Hello. Are you trolling me? Is this slowly going more open? Can I get in there? Open the door! You piece. You're fucking trolling me. Okay, you son of a bitch. I'm going on. <laughs> God, this was the way back, right? Okay, I'm getting confused. That's going to be confusing. There was an orange light where you came from or something, right? Is what he said. How many floors does this have? 666, right? That's going to be a while. Um, Get ready, guys. It's going to be a 24-hour stream. We have the water dispenser once again. No open doors this time. Uh, I see some water coming out of the water dispenser all the way at the back. Hello there, or is that even water? That looks like blood. It's dripping, but there's also blood. Water. All right, well, uh, I guess it's always anomaly. You seen this, sir? Are you here? Well, what are you in for? <laughs> I don't think he's gonna talk to me. There's definitely gonna be an anomaly with that guy where he's gonna jump me or something. Uh, no jump scare, jump scare so far, which I'm happy. So far we've survived. Careful, floor is wet wet that would be great if you could actually fall on your face um wonder if there's an anomaly here <laughs> what is that shit yeah let me just walk into the void <laughs> oh excuse me <laughs> did you just press alt f4 you alt f4 my game bro <laughs> Hey! <laughs> That's so good, dude. Okay, I can see why people wanted me to play this. Wait, am I gonna be reset back to zero? I'm assuming I'm gonna click continue here and we'll see how that goes. Oh, it actually loaded. Let's go. Oh, did it actually continue? It probably didn't, right? That's just a reset from, from zero again. No, we're still at four. Never mind. And we're still here. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Well, I'm gonna go back out here. <laughs> that's so good that's that's very clever i like that dude it's insane how many exit 8 like games have been coming out recently it's like everyone saw exit 8 and it just went crazy um excuse me now we're back here is this normal i feel like we're supposed to be at the other side but i guess continuing the game flipped me around because that definitely like, I was at that elevator. I'm assuming this is fine unless it's, like, fully mirrored. That would be the ultimate troll. Uh, I see the same pictures from before. Do I have to look, like, at the pictures? Gotta count the buildings, count the fountains. It's gonna be a while. Um, I'm assuming we don't have to be that detailed. The calendars were there before, right? There were so many of them. I remember that. I don't see anything weird. I mean, I see the op the meds that are just out and about again, but that's normal, apparently. Big plant. Also, trash cans. Do we need to count them? Because there's quite a few trash cans. I'm just going to go ahead. I think this one is actually normal. I'm going to be wrong, but then we can review it. Which is actually a really nice feature. That's I've never. That's one thing that Observation Duty games never know how to do, which is give you feedback on how, like, what went wrong. It, it was indeed normal. Um, and this is actually clever. Just allowing you to review it again. I mean, it's not really a point to it outside of just learning. So now we're back in this part of the thing. Uh, fire, two fire hydrants. I remember that was normal. Uh, no, there were always two hydrants, right? Bunch of sanity pills. Wait, is that poison? Hi? I heard someone crying. Are you crying, sir? Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> All right, dude, I like these. I like these. They're sneaky. There's some sneaky. There's some obvious. I mean, most of them have been obvious. So far, we're we're kind of cruising, <clears throat> but we have to do another 660 floors. So don't worry, we're gonna be here a while. All right. I actually kind of like that you have to also pay attention to which orientation you're going into the hallway. In uh, two fire hydrants yet again. Are you normal? Wait, no, that's fine. Why does this look different? It's more pixelated, but I guess that is normal. Medicines. Hello? Sir, are you seeing this shit? Do I have to run? <laughs> this is fine, it's gonna explode? I just wanna see if there's anything crazy that's gonna happen. This is gonna explode, I wanna be here. Uh oh. <laughs> Set at the door in case it explodes, that's a pretty good point. Oh. Wait, what? They ran out of sounds? <laughs> I think they ran out of alarm sounds. They were like, by now the player's already gonna be out of here for sure. They would never stick around. Well, you don't know me. <laughs> I guess I'll leave. <laughs> budget shortage. <laughs> they ran out of budget. <laughs> they didn't expect me to play this way. All right. Um, we're fine. No alarm this time. Just chilling. Uh, it's an obligatory random guy in an ex. Wait, in an exit A game. There's always gonna be like one guy. Who can become creepy? That's just always how these works, or how these game work. Um, this one looks totally normal, by the way. Is it sneaky? We have wet floor sign, caution, wet floor. Maybe the text can change too. Uh, because that po that picture was there twice. I don't see any missing. No fire hydrant. There's literally two fire hydrants. You have to pay attention to the way. You like enter the hallway. I think this one's normal or at least it's very sneaky. Wait, maybe there's too many chairs. I don't remember if there were this many chairs. Did I hear a sound effect there? Did I check the medicine? I did. Isn't this normal? I don't remember that square box, but I'm pretty sure that's normal. I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, it said that at the start that the game has chapters, which I don't know what that means. Chairs look good. What is that click sound? I don't know what the click sound is. I'm just gonna go. We'll see if this was correct. I, that's the problem with this one. I don't think if I review it, I would know what the problem was. So if we fail here, then we suck. And so be it. Never mind. We're too good at it. Okay, so now we're on this side of the hallway again. TV is fine. There's only one clock. Gotta make sure to look behind you. Yeah, I'm wearing heels apparently. Also, I can see my own chin. You see that? <laughs> Gotta make sure that's good. Got to make sure there's not a chin anomaly going on. I, I'm i pretty sure I am the same guy as this dude. Are we the same guy? Look, we got the same shoes. We got the same clothes. You're me, dude. He's, <laughs> we're mewing right now. We're looks maxing. Are these doors absolutely fucking massive or am I just a tiny guy? They're literally growing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Holy... Look at those massive doors. I feel so small. POV, you're not Dutch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys are short kings. I would never be rude to you. Uh, let me get the fuck out of here. <laughs> POV. All right. How, we're already at 10, dude. Um, yeah, I gotta make sure that there's no fire. <laughs> totally normal. That's that's top fire safety right here. Are they gonna go off all together? That'd be sick. Okay, this game is awesome. I'm having a great time. Uh, yeah, I was hoping that they would all go off and we would all go deaf, but I guess that's not gonna happen. When you play freaking Sims 4 and you put a, like, a fire alarm in every single fucking room because you sold too many fucking paintings so you're rich now. You want to make sure fire is so fucked up in the sims dude 
Your sims will literally like seppuku themselves because they're stupid. There's still so many fire alarms. I never saw that. Is there really this many fire alarms in a hospital? That is a lot. It's like a fire alarm every three meters. That's crazy. Okay, uh, well, we got the same setup. Nothing over there, right? No. My man is still same. People really do be stupid. Daddy, your sims be extra stupid. I haven't played The Simpsons so long. Uh, that looks fine. They haven't made a new one in a while. What the fuck? <laughs> oh! <laughs> What the fuck was that sound effect? <laughs> Dude, this game is so good. Get me out of here. The friggin' <laughs> birthday, uh, like, uh, sound. I don't even know, man. The polite jump scare, exactly. Gotta make sure that it's not cheap jump scares. Still ha still got me, though. 12. <clears throat> Alright. Were those my footsteps? I guess it was. It just sounded like there were a few too many footsteps there. What, caution, wet floor. Gotta make sure. Yeah, I'm. This is not the sound that these type of sneakers would make. I'm pretty sure. My man is still normal. My man's chilling. Always chilling. No more creepy thing on that. I hope we're not actually having to like count trash cans. I guess we could just do it one time. Jesus Christ! Sorry. We have one over there. One over there. Uh, so wait, one, two, three, four total. Uh, so if we ever see less than four, we know. There is, I mean, I don't know if we're gonna have to look at that. So far, we've been totally fine. Hello there! <laughs> that's actually, that's, I can see that being an actual thing in like a Japanese hospital. Am I, have I, do I have a fucked up like view of the Japanese society? I mean, all you see of that country is just neon signs fucking everywhere and everything is like gamified. Like, it doesn't matter how old you are, there will be some anime character on your cornflakes. Oh okay, yeah, I'm getting back out of here. <laughs> Future run, forest run. They love their mascots, yeah they do. Everything is just fun in Japan. At least that's what it looks like from an outsider perspective. You guys just always like making things like, it's all, it's all kind of, what the hell? There's a number six on this now. Oriented towards the more younger part of society. Okay, I don't remember the sixes being there. So I'm assuming that's an anomaly. That's a pretty sneaky one though. Were the sixes there? Maybe we are just boring. That's a good point. I don't think that's, I don't think those were there. I'm gonna get out of here. This is like one of those games where I can see people that are not familiar with observation duty games just absolutely suck ass at this. Every time they'll just like run into a sneaky anomaly and fail and then get jump scared over and over and over again for hours. We're built a little different. Um, looks normal once again. No immediate obvious anomaly. He's always moving, I'm pretty sure. Do I have to pay that shit like the exact dates? I don't think so. That was not there. No, no, no. We, we got it. We got it. Looks fine now, though. Medicine. Felt like something just loaded in as I walked there. But I don't see anything. Five trash cans. One, two, three, four. Zigzaggy across the rooms. I think it's fine. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have said anything because right now <laughs> we're getting a bunch of sneaky anomalies back to back because I don't see anything. Four benches? There's too many benches? Really? I'm pretty... I mean, so far it hasn't been that sneaky. There's five benches. I think it has to be five benches. I'm just gonna go forward. I don't see anything. It's the sanity pills. And the thing with these games is that failing also allows you to see more crazy anomalies. If we succeed early, we'll obviously go through it again. I don't even know if there's an end to this game. Uh, what's that zero? Now we're still 15. Oh. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna say bye. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Barely survived that one. I don't know if you can die. I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, then. Didn't even have to leave for that one. Uh, exit signs, fire. Another. Oh, that's a fire ringer. There's so many fire alarms. Goodness gracious. Two. Wait a minute. 
thought there was a thing missing, but it looks fine, actually. Pills! Pills are fine. I'm not gonna count the pills. I'm gonna get Ulta Ford again. It's actually so nice that they didn't reset my progress after that. This guy is fine. Uh, I don't... S is there a bench missing somewhere? Wait a minute. It feels just empty here. But I haven't really been on this side of the hallway too much because always the anomalies show up early. I think this is yet... This is another normal one. So I'm going to get out of here. I mean, so far we haven't really had to double check too much. Um, TV? Isn't TV normal? I'm pretty sure it's normal. Uh, so we got to just... If, if we can go fast and then if... What the fuck? <laughs> Have I died? Did I lose the game? Is this fucking red light, green light? What's going on? Oh, it's coal head? What is happening, bro? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> is this some squid game shit? Don't look away. I'm not looking away, but am I allowed to move? When when it laughs, I'm not allowed to move, I assume. Oh, and then I blink? What in the fuck? Oh, come on. Stop blinking. Uh, God damn it, you bitch. No, no, no. What? The? It's a giant gummy bear, dude. What is this? Did I mess up? Or is this the next chapter they were talking about at the start? Stop blinking? Yeah, why can't this guy keep his eyes open for a little bit? What am I doing? Oh my god, you bitch. It's just a giant wall. Can I at least get along the side here? Or am I just fucked now? Okay, I can't get along the side. You better not- Oh my god, you're gonna make me zigzag? You <laughs> fucking dickhead. Well, he has to zigzag too. Uh, don't make me go through some kind of maze. Also, there's dead people on this. Yeah, you're never gonna get here, dude. You're screwed. You have to go so far. Can you even go through that? I f He's only moving like a few inches every time. They're all just sleeping. Maybe. It was a little weird to sleep with the blanket over your head. Uh, oh, oh my god, we have to go all the way through here. Don't you dare skip that. Okay, you have to go all the way through. Can I just... Does it actually... No, it doesn't even move him when I'm not looking. It only moves him when I'm blinking. Well then. They're old. Do old people do that? I feel like that's the way you're gonna die. Goodbye. Escape from floor 66. Not true. I wasn't even there at all. It was like floor 15 or something. I'm at floor 100. Okay, so it is actually... You actually do have to get the floor hospital 666. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, that door is open now. I'm assuming that's not normal. Hi there. Or maybe this is a new normal? Maybe it's a new floor now? What are we doing in here? Hello? Do I have to look? Oh, this is new normal. This is a new room that we have to look at. Okay. All right, I see, I see. So let's pay attention to the new room here. We already know the old room. This guy has moved. <clears throat> so, uh, hello there. We got more pills just laying about out in the open. We got vitamin B complex. We got a heart rate monitor that's just completely still. We have another one of these paintings. <laughs> we have two more of these paintings? Are you fucking joking? We got this painting like four times. They got them in bulk. It was in the bonus. Uh, we have aspirin and a bunch of other stuff. Do we actually have to pay this much attention? So there's different colored sheets here. Oh boy, this room is so dense. It's a little overwhelming what we're gonna have to pay attention on. There's an extremely bright green plant. Feels like you turned up the, the like, the vibrant colors in, in Photoshop or something. Uh, and then a bunch of chairs. I mean, I think we got it. You guys got it, right? I'm trusting on you guys to understand this. One fire hydrant. We'll be fine. We probably have a checkpoint now, so if we mess it up, we'll be okay. We'll be able to go back. Uh... I think, I think the first one's always going to be okay. Not sure you guys got this. I believe in you. You might not believe in yourself, but I believe in you. And I can always scream at you guys if you fail. So, yeah. We have, that is actually cool. I like observation in the game with chapters. That's really unique. That's not something uh, I think we've ever really done before. I mean, I've seen a few observation duty games with stories. And then, like, Chilla's art observation duty game, or exit 8 game kind of had chapters to it, which was cool. 
uh, but it's very uncommon. Usually it's just a simple experience that you move through really quickly. Doesn't look like anything is off here, so let's check this room. This guy's still chilling. Oh! <laughs> That's so nice of you to make a sound effect. I probably wouldn't have seen that. There's a freaking dead body under the bench. I don't think I would have seen that if, if it wasn't for... I mean, maybe you guys would have screamed at me. If it wasn't for the... For the crunching sound. Also, yeah, you can see the... If you ever forget which side was your elevator, there's a light at the top. Uh, I'm getting out of here. Do we have to do, like, at least 15? Well, that's cool, though. If you fail, then you don't have to worry too much. You're probably going to be set back to 100. So you can just kind of... Like, focus on having fun rather than needing to be too on, like, guard all the time. I always like if an observation to the game allow you to mess with the, like, anomalies a little bit and allow you to die without it being too punishing. Because dying and, like, getting scared by the anomalies is the whole fun. Hello. Aha! You, that's the first time you've ever given a shit about me. That's not normal. You don't usually give a shit. Can I rotate your neck? He's giving me this stare. Hello. <laughs> Creepy stare. I'm out of here. Goodbye. He's mad. He gives too much of a shit. Brad, thank you for the two. So, oh, now I understand what they meant. So we playing on normal mode. There were two difficulty modes. One was normal and one was, or one was easy. Uh, Normal said that the anomalies can happen uh, in any chapter. And what I'm assuming that means is that in this chapter, we can still have anomalies in the hallway rather than just anomalies in that new room. Which, uh, that's actually, that seems like a lot more fun. Because that way you actually have to pay attention. I finally understood because I was like, when I clicked that button, I was like, I have no idea what this means. But we'll just play on normal. <laughs> There's also hell mode. There was like a way harder difficulty. Which was locked as of now, so we're probably gonna have to beat this first before we get access to hell mode, which is gonna be great. We're totally gonna succeed on that one. I don't see anything in the hallway though. I, I am paying attention. These chairs look kind of large, but painting? Is there something with the painting there? Oh yeah, I see. <laughs> they do love this painting. <laughs> That's so good, dude. Yeah, it's just a I was like, I looked at this and I was like, obviously there's more. I looked behind me, there's fucking 17 extra. They really bought these in bulk. They were like, fuck, dude. We got to do something with them. <laughs> hell mode. You have to... Dude, imagine hell mode. You actually have to move through 666 floors. Shit would be awful. <laughs> I mean, we're only at 104. That's... Spooky, spooky, scary ghost. How has that ever... How has that become, like, the classic way to portray a ghost? I guess because people, like, portrayed ghosts as, like, translucent humans. And it slowly morphed into, how can I make that into a costume? I'll just put a fucking blanket over your head. Um, so far, we haven't even filled yet. Kind of sick. I don't see anything in here. You would buy that painting. Same painting... Again. All right, in here. You don't give a shit again, which is good. The painting is larger than that paint. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the dev. <laughs> that's so good, dude. Having like, uh, just acting in your own horror game. I'm loving it. Uh, you're not gonna jump scare me, right? All right, obviously. <laughs> is the character in the game made after the dev? <laughs> the dev is a good sense of humor. <laughs> I'm assuming that's how it works. The dev is having so much fun with this game. Yeah, I love that though. That's such a good, it gives a good vibe. It's so much, horror games are so much closer to comedies than people often realize. I mean, you can see with games like Lethal Company that are so fun to play because they are funny and then they're still scary. Is there something about, like oftentimes when I get scared afterwards, I like break down in laughter 
I don't know what it is with being scared and, and laughing. That's just like crossed over in human emotions somehow. All right. That painting is normal again. We st I saw this shadow before. That shadow is normal. It's going to be one time where there'll just be like, I don't even know, 17 of these guys sitting around. I think this is going to be the first time that this room will be normal. Um, Because I saw two, three blankets. I don't remember if it was actually three. I don't see anything in there. Pills are all over. I think this is fine. Hat on? He always has a hat on. We're all a little crazy. Hey, I mean, if you play, like, thousands of horror games every year, you'll get used to some of them. I'll really just be playing, like, a horror game all evening and then go to bed and sleep like a fucking baby. Um, I think this is normal. I'm getting out of here. Happy fruit is or a happy birthday. And thank you for stopping by on your birthday. Hope you're having a good day. Is that normal? Did I fuck it up? I have not made a single mistake yet. Not the brag or anything. Oh, hi. It's these guys again. Well then. Goodbye. That's so- This is way nicer. Can we stick in this side? Because this way I can hop into that room immediately. And immediately see the anomalies instead of having to go all the way across the hallway. Yeah, that- Me laughing, you know, at horror games is- You can't call me fucked up for that. Because the amount of times I've seen people say that they fall asleep to my videos. You guys are the weird ones. You fall asleep to horror games? I'm the normal one. Hello? <laughs> Phil's entire game. Dude, imagine if one fail would mean you immediately go back to zero. That'd be messed up. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything again. Are you larger? Is he large? Is he growing? He is growing! Or am I shrinking? Wait, I think my character is slowly shrinking! Wait, what? No, It's a nightmare! Help! I need to leave before I cannot touch the elevator button anymore. Have I ever told you guys? I- this is one- this is like one of my first memories in my entire life. Oh! <laughs> they made sure that you became tall again. Wait, wait. Can I become small again? So that you could actually click the button. Uh, one of my first memories as a child is that I was in Spain. And I we went to the beach and then I went wanted to go back to the hotel room. But I was too small. I was too short to click the button. So I just sat in the elevator and I cried. And then like two Spanish, like a Spanish couple came by and they were like, What button do you have to go to? <laughs> I, was, I just set the number and then... <laughs> They sent me to my <laughs> to my my apartment. I was literally like six years old. I don't even know how I how I was alone. I don't mean to flame my parents or anything, but I feel like <laughs> I should not have been in that situation. Um, I'm okay though. I'm totally not. I'm not messed up because of that. I'm not scared of elevators. Uh, I think I'm actually normal this time. Wheelchair? Oh yeah, the wheelchair is moving. Was there even a wheelchair in the first place? Dutch kids are small. Yeah, we're not born six feet tall. <laughs> that that happens over time. Imagine that, dude. Imagine being a Dutch woman. That shit would be painful. I don't believe it. What? I heard weird sound. So far, the normal mode has been mostly just anomalies in this room, but I'll take it. Um. All right, this guy's just chilling. That's not moving. I think we're normal. Unless I'm shrinking again, but I don't think there's gonna be repeats. Is that chair moving? Is there an extra chair? Is that? Wait. Is that an extra chair? I don't remember there being a chair there, but no. There's a bed without a panel. Is there? Is that a, I'm pretty sure that's extra. Is it not? Normal? The chair has been there? I'm confused. The guy has shoes. Yeah, he has shoes. I have shoes too. It was there last floor? Okay, well then you guys are right. Alright, well then we're just gonna move on, I guess. <coughs> Sorry. Is there anything in the hallway though? I gotta make sure. It's been a while since we have to cross the hallway. Uh, 
nothing in the paintings. Raku, thank you for the three. Also, I've told this story before. I mean, I've told the whole story before. But the same trip in Spain, I found a bunch of crabs on the beach. And I was really sad that I couldn't take them in the airplane. I didn't understand. I was like, why can't you? Why can't you take my little crabs in the plane? You're not allowed to take animals in the plane? What is this? Fucking hell? <laughs> Why is real life so shit? I was so happy with my crabs. And then I cried. <laughs> Four crabs. There's... I also remember I like put a bunch of shells in my... Was that actually correct, by the way? Yeah, we are correct. I put like a bunch of shells in my pocket and then they ended up being crabs. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I had that in my pocket like the whole day. And they just walked away. I thought we had a bond. I'm gonna check in here first. Uh, you're normal. Fire. Hello there, sir. I feel like I'm taller than- oh, no, if you stand up, you're gonna be equally tall. Wanna- wanna fight? He's got a mustache. Did he have a mustache before? Probably, yes. Um... Everything looks fine to me again. Oh, wait. Never mind, it's blood! 666. Oh my god. Shit, now we have to walk all this way every time again. What was it last time we got the 15 or something and then it sent us across? I mean, if we're gonna have to be very on point. That's like, that's just six like hard observation duty games back to back. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be too hard if the anomalies are easy to spot. Um, but if you're not familiar with observation duty games, you're gonna suck at this. Let's see. Sir is fine. So the chair was normal, by the way. Thank you for the people who believed in the chair. That thing there. <laughs> I said that I said every time, and then half the chat will go, "No, it wasn't." Half the chat will say yes. Um. There's just well. Yeah, I just... Oh, so the wheelchair wasn't actually there, by the way. It was over there. Because I remember be, something being in front of the plant. All right, he's just shaking. Chat the bamboozer. I think we're actually fine this time. It's been a while. So we're going to move across. All right, we came from there. We're going to go here. We checked the hallway too, right? Not very thoroughly. But so far, there hasn't been a single anomaly in the hallway. So I'm just going to go. And if we make a mistake, then there were two wheelchairs. Was there a wheelchair here? No. I don't think so. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. We can always rewatch it. Uh, no, just the one. 12. Am I going to go to hell again? Let's go. All right. Three more. And then it's time for, for checkpoint. Can't wait for checkpoint. He's just st He's staring off into the universe. All right, so there's one wheelchair. We know that. And this thing is normal. There's a lot. There were a lot of power outlets before, but I thought... Run! That's great. Screenshot. <laughs> gonna, gotta run, I guess. There's nothing that comes to kill me, though. What if I run across? Will something come to kill me? I'm just gonna leave. All right, this is where we came from because it's orange. Okay, this might be... I don't actually remember. I think it was 14. When we succeeded 14, it sent us the, to the special level. Once again, wait a minute. That's the, an anomaly in this, right? Extra doors? There's no way that was overlapping. That, I mean, unless it's just bugged, but I mean, that's uh, there's not going to be anything in here. That is definitely not right, so I'm just gonna leave immediately. That should not be on top of that. The door anomaly. No way it's bugged. I mean, that would be very fucked up if observation duty games are gonna have bugs that add on anomalies to it. Yeah, there was just an extra door. I see, so that was, that was our first anomaly in the hallway during this part. Uh, for some reason, I don't remember this here. But that's probably my fault. 
I'm just seeing it for the first time. That's the observation. I'm telling you, there's like a, a psychological effect that I'm that I've been calling the observation duty effect, which is that something is like in your blind spot for like five, uh, five levels in a row, and then suddenly you see it for the first time, and you're like, "What the fuck? That was really there the whole time," and then it ends up being true. It's like you're gaslighting yourself. Um, I think this is normal, at least in here. So we move on and we check the hallway. I don't see anything weird. There hasn't been many sound anomalies that are just purely sound. There's no door hit this time. I hear a clock, but that's probably normal. Um, yeah, I think we're fine. Moving along. Don't fail me now. That would be insanely rude. All right, here we go. The last one. <laughs> this would be the worst time to suck. <laughs> nice. Never mind. It's not over yet. Goodness gracious. It never ends. Something weird happening back there. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey! Sir? Do you not need this? Anything weird in here? No? Alright then. <laughs> someone just... Someone doesn't want their wheelchair anymore. I can walk now. Uh, so, so one more. Someone said that it's 716 is still gonna be fine. I like those, because then I actually know for sure that there was an anomaly. <laughs> and I don't have to... Uh, don't have to guess that it was normal or not. Big plant, but plant is always big. All right, jump scare me, please. Do something crazy. Don't try and kill me, though, because that would be the worst time to do that. Don't see anything more in the hallway. Hallway looks fine. All right. Please be weird, sir. I really wanted you to be weird this time. I don't ask much. Oh! Hi? Um... Nice ass, dude. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> He's just a bitch. <laughs> Just my buddy. I w if I walked into him, he might have killed me. And I I'm too far gone to meme around for that. Because <laughs> I want my next checkpoint. Let's go. All right. Now we actually have to do this one. What's going to happen this time? Oh. Um. Oh, God. What the fuck? Oh, hi there. There's fucking zombies, bro. Why is it bl uh, excuse me. Excuse me? Do I have stamina? Where the fuck am I even supposed to go? Stop. Don't touch me. Is this a maze? That's gonna suck. Okay, I'm much faster than they are though, and I think I have infinite sprint. Why is it blinking, like, the black? Am I blinking myself? Oh my god, there's so many. Hi guys. Why are they camping the damn elevator, man? That's cheating. Go, 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 go. Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. Escape from floor 166. That was easy. All right, then. 200. Here we go. Uh, there's a little figure there. I don't remember that, but I mean, this is the first floor of a new place. There's a new door open now. New room. First one's always going to be normal, so we don't have to worry about the hallway. We've already checked this many times. Uh, it's the room next to the... Okay, operating room, it's your ass again. Smiley face is normal. Okay, then. Hi, sir. Uh, so you're normal. We have opened, uh, whatever, mortuary assistant things. Which, by the way, there's a new, uh, mortuary assistant game coming out soon called, what was it? Uh, autop autopsy simulator, which I am excited for. 
Execute? Oh, I thought they meant it's French. <laughs> I thought they were gonna execute this guy. <laughs> what the hell, French? It's just French. All right, we have uh, hammers and other tools, and then an empty operating table that's probably not gonna be empty forever. And this smiley face, fire button, some x-rays with a weird dot there, or like an eyeball. Okay, I think we've seen plants in these two corners. You guys got this, right? I believe in you. Here we go. It's not a morgue. It's an operating room. Why would there be so many? <laughs> They're just like, imagine going into that operating room. That really gives you a lot of confidence for what you're about to go through. They already got the fucking place. They're going to put your dead body lined up for you. They already got it opened up. Like, yeah, if this goes wrong, that's where you're going to go. <laughs> what the fuck? That's going to stress me out. Okay, I don't remember that, but that was probably there. It is an autopsy room. Okay, well, I mean, I was talking about autopsy sim. So that is fitting. Okay. <laughs> Hi there. You got that creepy smile. Oh! I've been killed. <laughs> Whoops, I'm glad that happened at the very beginning. Okay, don't walk up to that guy. Noted, noted. You peace? We're we gonna be normal again? I'm assuming we're gonna be normal again on the first one, so I'm just gonna run straight through. Okay, I mean, you can't, that is a, cause I haven't actually died so far. So that is technically our first failure. Uh, please check behind the board. We'll check behind the board in a second. Was there even a board? Yeah, he, he eats me. We're at one, let's go. Okay, so we're still gonna see. There's not, imagine both rooms were open. That would be fucked up. Luckily, that's not the case. All right, don't you eat me this time, please. Behind the board, you said? What do you mean? Oh, this one. There's nothing. Also check behind myself. Is this? That one was open? I remember some of these were open. I don't exactly count exactly which one were open. Um, you're not gonna murder me this time, you dickhead. At least I hope not. Okay, that's all still look- Oh, hi there! The fuck? <laughs> what? The fuck? There's a child in the light bulb. <laughs> that's damn sneaky. <laughs> all right then. What's he looking at? He's fucking dead. Some Fallout, Fallout references over here. Any, any Fallout watchers in the chat? I've been enjoying it. I only watched like two episodes so far. That's not normal. I'm pretty sure it's not normal. Fire extinguishers. So far it's been like relatively, as soon as you see an anomaly, you're relatively sure it's an anomaly. A few times it's it's sneaky george very much i'm only at the beginning though so no spoilers um it's all very serene it's for very clean you're not gonna kill me is this normal looks normal to me he's got smiley face you have tiny legs or is that it's a little out of proportion no baby face in there this time i think this is fine i think we move along Unless it's at the back here, unless we have to look at the back here every time, but, but I guess we should. All right, I'm gonna go. Nothing in the hallway either. Now we're at the right side, which is good. Uh, so we can go straight into that room. I <laughs> love how it's in so many different languages. Anyone can play this game. Was that correct? That was correct. Let's go. All right, he's not being a, a creep. This is actually so clever, having different chapters with different rooms you have to memorize. Because a lot of the Observation Duty games don't have much longevity. Because you obviously can only put so many anomalies in the same area. But this way, by changing areas, you can make more anomalies. He's not gonna kill my ass. I think this is another normal one? You can't do that two times. Smiley face move. Sticker on the door. Sticker on the door. What do you mean? On the door... Oh, these? No. I think that's normal. 
No small door. What do you mean no small door? There were always three open. These two were always at a... Like slightly ajar and there was always... I don't know if this one was slightly ajar as well. That would be messed up. I think this is normal, but that I've never in this game so far we've never seen two normal in a row, so that makes me kind of concerned. Uh, but I guess we're gonna have to roll with it. Is this gonna be our first failure? Don't do it to me. We have to survive like sixteen rounds in a row. Holy shit! Let's go. Okay, I was a little scared. There are actually two normal ones in a row. Look at that. That is possible in this game. You gotta be confident in yourself. So far, we've been pretty solid. All right, smiley face there still. This room seems like it's actually easier than the previous room. It feels easier, at least, than the previous rooms because there's less to look at. But maybe there's gonna be more anomalies that can murder us. Don't see anything in the light switch. This guy's not growing or anything. We have three open doors, two here and one there. I have it fully down now. I don't even know what the fuck this is, but... Oh, it's a saw <laughs> of some sort. It's gonna, like, shake back and forth. I don't know if you've ever seen a saw that, like, takes off, like, arm casts, but it's actually crazy how they work. They, like, saw through the cast without being po able to saw through flesh. It's, like, a genius thing. Like, how the fuck did... So cool design, like, someone came up with that shit. Uh, I think we're three normals in a row? Are you kidding me? This is nothing again. Is there nothing in the hallway either? <laughs> I'm starting to doubt myself. One chase is with different difficulties. You always, you also have anomalies in the hallway now. I think it's actually normal. I'm gonna go. And if not, we haven't really seen many anomalies anyway, so we're due a few. Uh, I'm going. I heard a click there, but I hear a click on the footstep. I think there's like a click in the audio that was recorded for footsteps that sometimes plays. Was that actually correct? It was actually correct again. What in the fuck? Can we stop this? Uh, oh, is that gonna kill me? Yes. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, wait, thank you. <laughs> you piece of shit. Oh no, my friend! No! He's gonna die! Oh my god, he's getting killed. Rest in peace, sir. He's just chilling there. Wait, he's sitting actually perfectly on the side of the saws. Well, goodbye. This is mine. Wait, is he gonna be dead? Wait, I need to see this. I wanna go back in and see. He's totally chilling, bro! How did you survive that? What the fuck? All right, anyway. <laughs> that is very nice of them to let me out again. Instead of just killing me there. The dude is very chill about being sawn in half. Blue sick, thank you for the three months, or five months, thank you. All right, we're insane. Hi. Right. When is there gonna be a dead body on this table, huh? Got plot armor. It's upside down. Oh, baby. That's gonna get a lot of people. Because I don't think a lot of people are gonna be paying attention to that shit. Eh, uh, sneaky man. <laughs> Autopsy sim looks awesome. Yeah, I know. It's like, uh, what was it? Comes out start of next month, I think. Like the 8th or the 9th, I think. We're actually gonna be playing it early because we're gonna. It's one of those, I've been doing or getting a lot more sponsor requests uh, lately, but it's all for like awesome games that I want to play. They were like, you want to do a sponsor? I was like, what the hell? You're going to pay me to play your game early that I already wanted to play? <laughs> Sign me up, baby. <laughs> so not only are we going to play it, but we're also we're going to have early access for it, which is sick. Never get 666. Never get it. All right, well, I'm out of here. This is a good life, yeah. Another thing we're doing, uh, this Tuesday, we're gonna be playing, this is something that Psycho and I have been talking about ever since the game came out, and we never had a time to do it because we were we were trying to convince CJ at some point to play with us. Uh, hello there. Dead Island 2 as co-op, uh, and we're playing that this Tuesday for a sponsor as well, which is crazy. 
Uh, I'm probably gonna die if I walk into this room, but I want to die, so goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. <gasps> the fucking Wilhelm scream? Are you serious? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you dickhead. I'm not even looking. <laughs> I thought it was gonna like end in bloody carnage, but instead it's just a, a goofy... Goofy scream, dude. Come on, man. Worth it. Totally worth it. Hey, so far we've only lost twice and they were both on purpose. <laughs> that island too was awesome. Yeah, I've seen some insane... Like, it looks... Like, you can basically chop off, like, every part of the zombies in that game. Like, it has, uh... Uh... Like, gener... What the hell? There's brains in there. Like, the gore is very well done. Hello, brain? <laughs> that fight is not a brain, it's just a person clipping through. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Alrighty then. You stared at me, dude. You had a lot of fun with it. Well, apparently they're, they're doing something big this week. I think there's like a huge sale happening or something, because there was some reason that they wanted to sponsor us. Um... I think it was because of a sale, if I remember. So I'm excited. I finally have an excuse to beat up some zombies with Psycho. Alright, still still paying attention to the hallway, remember? Because it could still be different. But uh, it doesn't look like there's anything. Seems like there's way more anomalies that can actually kill you. Oh, it's this guy again. Okay, I'm not going to get close to you because you're going to kill me, you peas. Because I've gone through that before. A DLC for the game. Well, that must be it then. Oh, so we're going to be playing that as well. Uh, goodbye. This was the one I came in through. Hey, better noob, what's up? You sneaky. Already beat the game? Uh, no, we're far from beating it. This is, it seems like it's going to be a juicy observation duty game. Uh, because it has like six different chapters, which is awesome. What was that noise? He's gonna be floating after me. That would be sick. Alright, no killers this time. No saws on the ceiling either. No child in the in the lamp. How many different anomalies could they have here? Okay, this is not upside down. He's not looking at me. We got one, two, three, plus one open there and two open there. Alright then. That's a normal one, which is good. Then we can swap to the other side now. Uh, because I want to be on this side. So I can jump into the room really quickly. I didn't see anything in the hallway. Imagine they do a really sneaky one in the hallway now that we're not really paying attention to it very much anymore. That'd be extremely rude, but I'm going. So you take the elevator that you came from if there was an anomaly. Otherwise, you would take the... Um, you take the one across. Was that good, though? That's the question. The door was open? Yeah, it's supposed to be open. How, otherwise, how the fuck am I supposed to get in there? Uh, no so- Are we gonna die again? Hi! Any spooky stuff? What happens if I walk further? Nothing? Alright then, I'm out of here. <laughs> Lady somebody, I think you're on the 27. Just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything else. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> you are dead. We need to get a fuse. Yeah, this is one of the better exit 8 likes that's come out recently. Uh, don't murder me. Please do anomalies every time so I don't have to move across. Write something fucked up on the back. Do like the thing in high school where you write something rude on the back of the board so that when the teacher flips it over, he's like, what the hell? You guys ever do that? <laughs> Just me? Alright, nothing here. No child in the lamp. I was fucked up. <laughs> Some people did that. Or the absolute classic. Imagine being an elementary school teacher 
And every April Fool's, you have to pretend to be surprised by the fact that your students replace your chalk with, like, candy chalk. Oh, no, it happened again. Ha ha, teacher. Shit's fucking the same every year, bro. Okay, I don't think there is anything here, so I'm leaving. It's an absolute classic. <laughs> Sound like a troublemaker. Oh, man. Please don't tell me I fucked up. Yes, let's go. All right, this is some chunky fire extinguishers. It's all pretty detailed. Remote for the screen protector. What the fuck? Oh, that's actually a genius. <laughs> Buying a remote for something in the classroom and just constantly fucking with that. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, Jesus, fuck. What the hell, man? No, 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 no. Okay, that's fucked up. I hate that. That's damn creepy. You can't come in here. Oh, you can? Fuck. We're going on a trip, sir. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can't come in here. We put the SCP in the bag. Yeah, what the fuck? All right, that's all fine. Only one exit, no running guy. I don't know if we're gonna see repeat anomalies in this hallway, but I'm I'm keeping an eye out. <laughs> yeah, I thought the elevator was the safe zone, but apparently not. Gotta make sure that you walk in here and not immediately get killed. Aww, you said. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fix him. I'm fixing him. Seven, dude, we're actually cruising, especially considering that we died a few times to our own stupidity. Yeah, I don't think I've been, I, I know people were talking about it before the stream. I don't think I've been this excited for a game in a while. I am so ready for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Makes me wanna replay the first one because I love the first one. I'm not doing it this time. No, it's not worth the Wilhelm scream. Fuck off. <laughs> Do it again? We're gonna be in an endless loop of pain and suffering if I keep dying on purpose to the same anomaly. <laughs> <laughs> gonna never, never get out of here. <laughs> Mortuary Assistant. Dude, the developer of Mortuary Assistant has been making a new game. I don't know anything about it, but I'm ready to play it when it releases. Uh, I hope it's gonna be an actual horror game and it's not gonna be like welcome to the game Whose developer has been making a boba simulator game recently? Not to knock his game. It's just very different from something that I would play I saw the sauce by the way. I'm not walking in there He says that he's finally gonna be releasing dead signal um, Dead Signal's Nightmare Mode, by the way, which is gonna be sick. We have been waiting for that for like half a year, bro. It's about time. I'm so ready. Oh yeah, he, he said that he has to choose. I don't know why he has to choose between that and the new welcome to the game. Where is Dead Signal, man? Dead Signal getting any love? I, th I, I was like pretty, like I was watching his stream a bunch when he was uh first releasing it and he said that he was uh satisfied with the sales numbers of dead signal so i don't know what happened to that like what i've been in uh a loyal fan of that game but we have been waiting for a while it's like the lobotomy corporation viewers waiting for the next episode <laughs> i guess i should know how i i guess i know how it feels now I mean, you guys didn't have to wait six months for the next episode. It only took like three weeks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not that that's not very long. Um, okay, I don't see anything in here. White ceiling and white floor. Yes, that's been this way forever, right? I'm gonna leave. Speaking of episodes, uh, new Shadows of Doubt tomorrow. So get ready for that. Okay, I think we're good here. I'm just gonna leave. Name, thank you for the 22. I went insane in that episode. 
I got so many upgrades. Don't fail me! Let's go! <laughs> the, the wait before the ding gets me every time. Peeking in here. There's no peek mechanic in this game. Alright, no repeats. It doesn't seem. At least in one round. Unless you fail. This is upside down again! Imagine not seeing- Wait, there's actually two. Wait, it's- There's two of them. There's one upside down and one at the back that's right side up. <laughs> Imagine you don't see that one and you're just constantly stuck in hell. Because you don't see that one and you just fail over and over again whenever that one appears. And you just have to get lucky that it doesn't show up. I've played Observation Duty games where there's just one anomaly that I never see. And it just costs me like- it takes me like two hours to finish the game because I just have to get a run where I got lucky and I don't get that specific anomaly that I just can't find. Um, we chillin'. We chillin'. Yeah, you can review, which is kind of nice. Although, to be fair, the problem with review... Uh, there's a QR code? Anyone scan the QR code? Am I gonna get Rickrolled when I scan this? I gotta try. Don't rickroll me, I swear to fuck. What? Can you hear me? Champ that you might get. What? Can you hear me? Champ that you might get. Excuse me? Wait, blah, 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 blah. Can you hear me? Champ that you might get. I don't know what that means, but thank you. <laughs> It's in a different language, I think. Well, you- Oh, it's showing up! It's- You guys can scan it out, too. No, it's not in English, I'm pretty sure. Because it's- The whole title is in a different language. Like, the title is all... Uh, I don't know. Like, uh... Korean or something? It is English? Okay, well, never mind then. I got- I got... Fooled by the- By the title being a different language. I couldn't hear it. I saw- I heard something game, but it didn't sound like the rest was English. Anyway, obviously that was something. Can you hear me? I'm trapped in a game. Oh. Wait, really? Try again. Hey, can you hear me? I'm trapped in my game. Oh, yeah! <laughs> hey, can you hear me? I'm trapped in my game. What does this- What does the title mean, though, then? Holy shit, this video has 140, 150,000 views and it's unlisted? How many fucking people have played this game? I don't know if it's made by the dev of the game. Anyway, um... Dev got trapped in the game. I guess many people replayed it as well because they have to hear it multiple times. Kid's head? Oh, hi. <laughs> That one. Alright, wait, we're actually cruising now? Oh, we're almost there. <laughs> yeah, probably replayed like a thousand times like I did. <laughs> can we free him? I don't think we can. What does the title mean, though? I'm curious now. Alright, no one needed to kill me. Appreciate that. My phone case. Yeah, I got that. I got that. This one again. I got that grandpa phone case. Hey, where else am I supposed to put my cards? I don't have a wallet. I live in 2024. I'm leaving. Boomer phone case. <laughs> Make a merch phone case. I would like to do like either super comfy sweater merch or like something like red equals scary merch or something like that that would be kind of funny just i because i don't like merch that's like just a low oh that's just like a logo or something yeah like a boo merch maybe it needs to be something that is like fun to wear if you don't know who i am i would hate to make some merch that's just like a billboard of like you know this freaking youtuber this random youtuber and then if you don't know it, like you shouldn't feel ashamed to wear it. It should be something that's just nice to wear with like a little Easter egg if you know my channel. But I have never, I've just not had the time to really talk to the right people. Don't kill me. 
Looking good. This is like one of the last ones, so we gotta be extra careful. You're not following me, right? <clears throat> socks. Comfy socks. That's kind of cool. This looks fine. Photix, thank you for the five, by the way. Um, it's a little blinky light in there, but I think that's just a graphical glitch. There's a smiley face. That guy is just chilling. I think this room is normal. Gonna have to check in the hallway if that's normal. And nothing's gonna kill me. Don't kill me right now. I don't mind dying or funsies. Right now will be unfortunate. Imagine they remove the fucking trash can. That thing is not gonna kill me. See many, many pills once again. I think we're good. That's good. Thank you for the four. Uh, I'm gonna move along. Please don't fill me. This is literally the last one. Please. <laughs> Please, come on. Oh, we did it. Nice. Third chapter done, baby. Uh, hi. I can't see shit, bro. What the fuck? Zombie man? The fuck are you doing? Uh, I'm looping your ass. Oh, come on. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, bitch. Get looped. <laughs> Escape from 4266. Escape the plague doctor. <laughs> nice. I don't know if there's any story going on here, but hey, we're on 4300. Let's go. X is gonna give it to you. Oh, hello. Is this the psychiatric office? All right, this guy's gonna be chill. Oh, wait a minute. New picture. They do have a new picture. Not just the same one over and over again. All right, something is gonna be on this computer at some point. They're downloading Steam right now. Your keyboard. Okay, this is a lot more detailed. This is gonna be a hard one again. We have a little room or a little side area here with a bed, a chair, and some medicine. I think so we got a real... Why is he installing steam on a fucking... <laughs> on a work computer? Your doctor is busy. He's playing freaking... Playing Minecraft. I guess... I mean, that's not a steam game, but you, you get what I'm saying. Uh, disease history M. Okay. That's an absolutely massive syringe, bro! Imagine you're just sitting in an office... And your doctor walks in with that shit? I'd be screaming. That's not that's not normal. There's stuff back there. Notebook and just some notes. Alright, well, this one's gonna be tough. But hey, it's the very beginning. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm moving along. This one's in the middle, so it doesn't matter what side we're on, which is kind of nice. It's just a candy syringe. Do those exist? Remember when you could get... Like when they just legitimately sold cigarettes, but like sh chocolate cigarettes. Like what insane world did we live in back in the day that that was like candy for kids? Like what the fuck? I was thinking back to that. I was like, what the fuck? That was just a thing. Like, and it was normal. No one was like, wait, maybe we shouldn't be <laughs> making the kids think that cigarettes are like yummy, yummy. Uh, okay, you're fine. That's fine. There's more at the bottom there, but I'm- I don't remember seeing that, but... That's too- I can't zoom in on that, so I'm assuming that's not an anomaly. That's why you eat There's a bunch of fucking babies underneath- The frick? <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Alright, should go back? I was always gonna move on. <laughs> this is what the hell? Oh, look, a chocolate cigarette. Like, when, there, it wasn't even. I don't remember it being a big deal when it got removed from the stores either. <laughs> it's insane how different countries handle, like, cigarette packaging. Some countries have, like, rules where it needs to be completely brandless like it needs to just be a white like all cigarettes are just white packaging with like no branding just like the pure information on there whereas other places are like 
uh like selling it as if it's like the best product ever and then other places have like those insane fucked up images on there that's like this happens to you if you smoke and it's just like someone's throat being all like like a hole in the throat or some shit like <laughs> crazy i'm gonna get out of here that six was not there i don't remember you guys you have images <clears throat> Well, I, I used I did like a paper on it in school um, and according to the research at the time I don't know if it has changed since but there was research done on what's the most effective way to make people stop smoking by changing branding and it turns out at least at the time that having no branding at all is actually the most effective way to make people not give a shit about smoking anymore because a large part of smoking is the branding and like having a being like, look at this, I'm I'm smoking this this brand, I'm smoking that brand. Uh and taking away all the branding and just making every single cigarette package like a white box was very effective. But I don't know if there's been new research since then, but I found that very interesting. Was this here before? Yes, right? I think we're normal. I think we're fine. Extra pen? Are you fucking joking? <laughs> no way they would do that. That's rude. I have played Limb from Limb. Limb from Limb is awesome. If you like Bugshot Roulette, check out my video on that game. I had a lot of fun with that. They've made some changes since. Maybe we'll check it out. You know what's insane about Limb from Limb? Is that it's actually a student project, which as someone who has studied game design and made my own student projects, I mean, we made a pretty cool game. Like we, not to toot my own horn, but we had one of the better games of the class. That was actually fun to play because most games were just like tech demos. Because the problem with the way that the course was structured was that you had to put a spin on a, a genre. It was like, take a genre and do something special about it. It was like, so so, so one of the groups made like a, a, a 3D, 2D platformer. That was like in one dimension, but it was 3D. So it was like just Mario, but instead of looking at the level from the side, you look at it from the front and it was just really like terrible to play. But that was like, and they got like, I remember I was so, I was so upset because they got a higher grade than we did because we just said, fuck your assignment. Your assignment sucks ass. We're gonna make like a fun game. So we kind of had to like, yeah, our spin on it is that we, added like procedural generation to uh replayable roguelite uh wait a minute that's very normal <laughs> oops and they were like yeah i mean you didn't really put a spin on the game might be good but you didn't really put a spin on it so we got like minus points for just making a fun game right you're fucking huge bro no but we had fun though so it was great i mean we still got like i don't i, I th we still got like an 8.5 or something but we would have had like an easy 10 if not for the fact that we just fucking ignored the assignment, <laughs> which I guess is fair. <clears throat> Bulky bulk, thank you for the nine. Huge man indeed. That's the huge man of this game. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, limb from limb is a, was a, student project oh, there's something back there that's probably gonna kill me but i want to check it out you want to go with me no all right then nice talk what the fuck oh come on. <laughs> you son of a bitch you know i can't help myself <laughs> you know I cannot look at it, man. Since you have to have some self-control. <laughs> God damn it! I got P and I got killed by a PNG, dude. Hook, line, and sinker. But I also was a, a teaching assistant, and I had to like grade a bunch of games. I've seen so many like student games in my days. Holy. So yeah, I was I and when I played Limb from Limb, I had no idea. Like it did not look like a student project at all. I mean, I guess because the, not to flame that game or flame the whole genre as a whole, but the bar for indie horror games is not necessarily very high. Oh, it's you guys again. It's uh, 
It's a pretty cool genre overall. You can make like a 30 minute wacky ass acid flip and a thousand people will buy it. <laughs> Including me. That's kind of the genre. It's is you that's kind of the fun about it as a as a content creator that you have to like dig for the diamonds in the rough in there somewhere. Hey Infinitic, why do I only play horror games? I don't only play horror games. Uh the reason or the fact that you're asking that question kind of answers your own question. A lot of like YouTube wants to put each channel in like a different box. So if you're watching my YouTube channel, you might only get horror game recommendations, but I make a lot more videos on games that aren't necessarily horror games. But you might not be getting those. You should just check out the channel every now and then, see if there's a new series that you haven't been recommended yet. Uh, for example, recently we've been doing Shadows of Doubt and Medieval Dynasty, which has been a ton of fun, which are not horror at all. No, I don't play Genshin Impact. I think this is normal. Is Genshin Impact still big? I know there was a time when everyone was going crazy for it. Just 60 seconds we've been playing, which has been a lot of fun. I think this is normal. So I'm just moving along. Waiting for the baby. Yeah, we're gonna have a baby in that game. Which, by the way, specifically Medieval Dynasty is you have to go to the live tab because it's kind of my chill game at the moment where I just stream it and don't really bother about editing anything at all. So you have to find it there. Which is kind of nice. You sounded so offended. What? I wasn't. That was fine. I have paid Poppy playtime, yes. Uh, the last one was extremely bugged. But apparently it was only bugged for me, but it was so bugged to the point that like everyone who watched was like, holy shit, you got so unlucky. <laughs> Cause usually when I play bugged games, people are like, dude, you're playing it wrong. You suck. Uh, but that game was like so physically broken, like in every way possible that even the people that would usually like call me out for playing games wrong, like calling a bug that I run into a skill issue, which trust me, I get often. Uh, we're like, okay, I don't know what the fuck happened on your- Hello! On your version of the game, but that was mega scuffed. I'm getting out of here. So yeah, that was pretty frustrating, but I still had fun. Will I play GTFO again? I like- I loved GTFO. It was a lot of fun when we originally played it. Also, sometimes I'm like looking at my YouTube analytics sudden- or recently. Everyone has been getting recommended my Left 4 Dead video that we played with CJ and Psycho because it's like my most watched video of the month and I'm like, what the hell? Where did that come from? Oh, well, fuck me, I guess. Uh, goodbye, Cruel World. Sir, uh, you're gonna die? Can I leave? Um, rip! Can I pull the plug anywhere? Help! You dickhead. <laughs> I'm out of here. Goodbye. Am I gonna play Left 4 Dead 2? I was thinking, like, we need to find a time to play Left 4 Dead 2, because I heard, I, I know that one is considered to be the better game of the two. Um, and then recently there was Back for Blood, which. That game died so fast. Which, speaking of games dying. I was so right about... What the fuck is going on? I'm gonna die if I walk up to that, gamers. Like, obviously it's gonna just stab me and then make a Wilhelm scream sound effect. No! Ah, he's coming! Are you gonna go out the door? I'm leaving. Just <laughs> like that. <laughs> Beg for blood dies, like, super fast. People were fighting me, man. When I said that I personally didn't like content warning that much, people were like, dude, you just don't understand. This game is so much better than Lethal Company. Well, are you fucking laughing now, bro? No one gives a shit about the game anymore. It died in like two weeks, bro. I was so right. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like Lethal Company has been going strong for so long. Like it might not be as hype anymore. <laughs> Which one? You were correct. Lethal is better. I mean, I didn't did, I didn't hate content warning. Am I fucking? Oh, I'm gonna get crushed. <laughs> Whoops. Ceiling is moving. I thought I was gonna die. 
Yeah, it just it was like a, a one-off game like that and that's exactly what I said I don't know if people got so mad at me when I like just stated my opinion was like I enjoyed it But after four hours, I didn't want to play it ever again and that was it And people were like fighting me over it and now they're not now they don't give a shit either It's always so oh this again It happens so often man with games I was like, this is totally gonna be a repeat of that. Cause the same thing happens with like every single ghost hunting game ever that's come out. There will be like people that play it for a week and are like, holy shit, Phasmo is gonna die, dude. Phasmo is done, bro. Look at this new ghost hunting game that's come out that no one remembers the name of anymore cause it's a month later and it's already dead again. <laughs> like, I, f I thought we learned by now that certain games are successful for a reason. Hello. But people always think they're like the the game guru and they know better than <laughs> everyone. All right, well, get me out of here. They never learn. <clears throat> we're slowly, I was just completely not paying attention, but we're moving through. Well, there've been a lot of good ghosts in the games though. Uh, apparently this is a ghost is out of early access now. Is that actually true? Because I saw some YouTube videos about that. Um, which I'd be down to see that. I haven't played really any other ghosts in the game in a while. I'm definitely going to play for Warn full updates or full release. Um, this is normal. I think it's just range, nothing, no babies into the thing. It did have 1.0. Okay. I think we're fine. <clears throat> Pine Harbor next week as well? Are you fucking joking? There's too many horror games coming out next week, dude. There's this horror game I've been looking at, which looks really cool. It's a game where you play as a streamer. The whole goal of the game is kind of content warning-esque, but like a single player experience that you only play once. Like the goal of the game is to make like go into a horror house and like film scary things <laughs> i think we're fine please don't fail me now i've been through this level a million times thank you so much uh wait i missed the the 300 bitties thanks um thank you for the 200 bitties thank you thank you into a horse house i meant horror house if i said horse house that was Inaccurate. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. That's me. I remember that. I'm watching myself. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna attack myself, though. I gotta get out of here before we die and we get killed by ourselves. Horses can be scary. Um, go, go, go. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. I don't know. This this chapter has been a lot more murder heavy. I mean, I guess the previous one was also. So I gotta actually be careful not to run into the things that get killed. Because we're we're getting pretty close. <clears throat> I didn't say the name of the game. What? Uh, I think we're fine again. Don't do this to me. Three eleven. Yeah, I know. Stuff moving. Yeah, we are going to floor 666. So strap in. We're going for the long road. I think we're fine. A weird pen holder. Nothing drawn on that. Oh, I'll take it to the five. Okay, then. Don't see anything in this hallway either. No jump scare face. There can be a jump scare face down there. Okay, don't fucking kill me. The plan at the end of the hallway. Are you fucking serious? We're gonna look at it again if we fail this one. No, we didn't. It's actually insane how accurate we've been with the no anomalies. Ah, uh, he's huge again! Huge man! Alright, I'm not even gonna go in there because I, I don't think he kills you, but... <laughs> he's massive. He missed GTA games. GTA 6 is gonna be so crazy, dude. When that comes on, we're still gonna think of the 40 months. Hey, I saw a statistic 
This is this accurate? That GTA 4 throughout its life has made eight eight point four billion dollars. Is that actually true? Because then it has to be the most profitable video game of all time. That is insane. I'm not doing that one again. Fuck you. I mean, that has to be like 90% from GTA Online, of course, because that shit is a money printer. Genshin made more? How much? Did Genshin make more than 8 billion? There's no fucking way. <laughs> it's Minecraft. Minecraft didn't make 8 billion though? But no way. <laughs> is that, is that? That's so much money. Like, that's so much money. League of Legends might be more. There's a dying cat over there. What the fuck? Feels bad, man. That's messed up. I'm gonna leave. Minecraft made a lot. Is that like a stat somewhere? It's passing out. One guy Star Rail made a hundred dollars last month. What? Did you forget a number there? <laughs> forget to add million to it or something? Isn't that like the new G Genshin thing? I feel like, I mean, I, I believe it. <laughs> I feel like it's probably more than that, though. But there's like a, a stack of those. I'm not, I want to look so bad, but we're literally on the last fucking level before the end. I cannot do it. We have to play through the entire thing again. We're literally on 15, bro. I can't. I can't. I can't take a look. It's just gonna kill us. You already know. <laughs> it's, we've done that before and we just got killed. Pokemon mate 90 billion. Yeah, all of them or one of them? Because that's like, that's... <laughs> you can't do that. It's like saying all movies have made this much. Like you can't just put all things together. The same type. Um... Nothing. Yeah, there's like 40 Pokemon games, exactly. The highest grossing game to date is called Dungeon Fighter Online. What even is that? I've never heard of that game. I don't believe that. That's some, that, they made that up. Source, I made that up. Is that some, some Asian game that went crazy? Uh, I don't see anything. I think, did he do something weird? an asian game okay i mean maybe then they do love their games 22 billion are you fucking serious it's a mobile game that doesn't count mobile games don't count candy crush made like 100 billion <laughs> mobile games are cheating um i think we're fine but this is fucked up man you can't do this at the last one the last one can't be normal this is a rule of observation duty because it makes me stressed out the shit yeah genshin is also mobile so that also doesn't count it's insane though v sports made 80 i mean that's 82 million but still the, how does it how does that even work because we sport was free with your Wii, no did people buy wasn't we sport like a free game on the Wii? oh we did it uh, my game, my computer is lagging. It's dying. It's loading the next chapter. <laughs> my computer was lagging so hard, dude. I got it with my computer. Oh god. Oh, we're fine. Yeah, let me open. Or the. Oh boy. Right. Hey <laughs> hey. <laughs> 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 what? Oh! Well, fuck me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Do I have to get another one real quick? Oh, no. Fucking... What? Shoot, peace! <laughs> what the fuck? 
It's <laughs> fucking gag doubling it, dude. <laughs> this game is insane. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna die. Oh god. No. Is this all timed? Am I just gonna die now? Fuck you, dude. Oh come on. That's no, fine. Can this water go away, please? <laughs> oh, you son of a dickhead! Why did I die? <laughs> what killed me? I gotta be faster? Just gonna open all of the fucking. Oh my god. Holy shit, there's bombs everywhere, bro! <laughs> Am I supposed to find something in there? Oh, come on. Oh my God. Shoot, dickhead. What the fuck am I doing? Oh no. Wait, wait. I can't open that one again. I'm drowning in poop water. No, it's another bomb. Oh my God, dude. What am I, am I just supposed to open the doors until I find something? <laughs> that was going on here. Okay, we're gonna start in this corner this time. Don't have a bomb. Okay. <laughs> I laugh so funny. Oh, come on. Oh my god. There we go again. Oh, there we go. Let's go, finally. <laughs> Get me out of here. Nice. Okay, 366. Two more chapter or 456, I'm assuming. Nice. All right, new door, new because it was on that side before. It's a toilet this time. Okay, what the fuck? Caution wet floor, very much. This guy is taking a poop with his clothes on. Not really, he doesn't even have the thing open. Okay, so we gotta pay attention. We can, we finally have confirmation. We are indeed the same guy. Let me guess, our like reflection is gonna be fucked up one time too. So we got one trash can, two trash cans right there. We got a tiny <laughs> faucet for kids. And no tiny toilet for kids though. And then just a bunch of toilets. Two hand dryers all the way over there for some reason. Uh, and then toilet over there. All right, good stuff. We'll see. Trapped in my own game. It is kind of cool lore though. That the developer put himself in the game and he's pretending to be stuck in the game. I guess is the story. I don't really know. I mean, it's one of these where you're like, you're in a coma or something and you're trying to escape the hospital. That's like a concept of a lot of the Observation Duty games, because you have to figure out a way to explain the fact that you're just looping through the same shit over and over. Alright, nothing weird in the mirror. Um, I call the toilets. Are you fine? You're not killing my ass. I think this is actually normal. Yeah. Alright then. Unless there's something in the hallway. First one normal. I mean, it doesn't matter that much if we're wrong, so let's just go. Have we crashed yet? Yet? Yeah. Oh, wait, it was actually wrong because it made a sound. No, it wasn't. Why didn't it make that sound? What the fuck? Did you do that? Am I crazy? Uh, I hear water. I swear I heard water. Maybe I'm crazy. Hello, toilet man. This is another normal one. You can't keep doing this. You can't keep getting away with this. Hey, Valian. Oh! <laughs> I got no head, bro! No head? 
have I played Dead by Daylight? I used to play, I used to stream a lot of Dead by Daylight. I still remember I was playing Dead by Daylight and then people came into my chat and they were like, you should check out this new game called Phasmophobia and the rest is history. <laughs> Do I have a chin? I lost my chin along the way. Um, what the fuck was that? I swear that was something weird. Anything in the toilets? This is so fucked up, by the way. Some guy is pissing here, and then a little kid has to, like, stand right next to his... He's like, dick? <laughs> like, that's fucked up. You can't do that. That's child abuse. You gotta remove one of those toilets. And you gotta put dividers in your damn toilets. Why is this a thing? Is this actually a thing in other places? This is criminal. Why can't you have toilets with no dividers? That shit is awkward as hell. <laughs> okay, I think... Are you... I did see something. I fucking knew it. <laughs> you piece? You see that? That was a little, <laughs> a little ghost girl at the top. I, I saw that when I came in. I saw something there, and I was like, what? But then there was nothing else. No dividers is crazy. I mean, not as crazy as those crouch toilets they, use, they have in Asian countries, like, everywhere, but... Definitely... Definitely one of the crazy things. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Accurate volume. Goodness. Four oh four. Floor not found. I right, don't jump scare me, please. Yeah, these shadows are weird. By the way, they're just supposed to be like that. <clears throat> I have not played. I mean, I only got into DVD when it was uh, already out for so long. Hasn't it been? I mean, I guess DVD is one of those games that just never fucking dies. Because they always keep getting new licenses. Why is DVD... I mean, I guess this is a thing with, like, all kinds of those online games. Like, it's League of Legends, I guess, community is kind of similar. But I think DVD is one of the games I've seen it the most for. Like, why does everyone who play that game hate that game? <laughs> like, you guys just... It's in a permanent state of Stockholm syndrome. Wait, I, why am I going back? There was nothing. Um, like people, <laughs> people just be talking trash about it all the time. Not as bad as League. It's Call of Duty. It's a piece of shit. I love it. Don't you reset me, you bitch. There we go. I guess it's like the curse of asymmetric horror games or asymmetric games in general. That there always be one side. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? One side that's unhappy? All right then. It's always hard for balancing. Because <clears throat> if you make one side powerful, then the other side will be mad. Overwatch 2, hasn't Overwatch 2 started banning people that say fucking shit or something? They don't know what type of game they are. Oh, what the hell? Um, that's the jankiest water of all time. Oh, it's not even that bad. Doesn't even make it all the way. You probably go anyway. Goodbye. <laughs> Shining scene. That's like straight from Exit 8. Still remember when that happened in my playthrough of Exit H scared the shit out of me. You woke up, you played Terraria, you say you hate it and you quit. What's wrong about Terraria? I don't think I've ever done that. And I've played a lot of Terraria. Um we fine again? Don't do this. No loud sounds. No creepy ladies up here. You're still not pooping. Is she just gonna be r randomly naked one time? I think we're doing. We're good. Gotta check the hallway now. Because we haven't really done this. 
Pretty sure we're fine though. Unless it's something very sneaky. This is normal mode, by the way. Which was the highest difficulty I could select. Yeah, that's a staple of Observation Duty games. Just have people be randomly naked all the time. I wonder what the Observation Duty dev is doing. Is it really? I mean, he made that uh, game a while ago that I played. Like the stock sim... Fuck the stock simulator game. Hi. Oh, okay. I don't know what's with that, but I don't want to. I don't want to get my neck snap. So get me out of here. <laughs> He's done pooping. <laughs> Lil Wing Chan, thank you for the twenty-seven. <laughs> He's looking for toilet paper. Um. This is shining shit. I want to die to you guys. You don't even got real. What the? What the fuck? <laughs> that was sick, dude. <laughs> Excuse me. I killed them, I didn't do anything. All right then. I'm glad that there's still hallway anomalies happening too. I'm assuming that was one of the ones we missed in the first chapter. All uh, right, you're back to pooping, which is good. Don't kill me. No, okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say no one on the toilet. <laughs> Whew. I saw the cutest thing ever today. I was going to the grocery store and there was this lady that was walking around with her child and she was, she had like, uh, what are they called? Like Easter eggs, like chocolate Easter eggs in her hand. And she kept like putting them down when the kid wasn't looking. And then the kid would walk over to the area and he'd be like, mommy, mommy, there's a, look, I found another one. And then she'd be like, oh, let's go. And she'd pick up the Easter egg and then she'd put like another one down and then the kid would be like, Oh look, another one! It was actually the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was like, holy shit, that's so clever. Uh, there's a hand in the... in the trash. It was adorable. No, they were like little chocolate eggs. I mean, otherwise it wouldn't... Imagine giving, like, because she was just putting them down everywhere. That would have been very unhealthy if she gave so much chocolate. No, it, it were, they were tiny. It was very cute. Unlimited Easter egg. Yeah, maybe the kid was just pretending to not know so that <laughs> they would get more eggs fucking big brain Actual five head child All right, you're fine 200 IQ That's such a cool way to teach your kid to be curious Uh, I'm fine. Oh toilets with blood in them Goodbye or poop either. I don't want to know Nice, we're going actually sicko mode. Toilet wine. My toilet water into wine. Dirty water, take a photo. <clears throat> Fine. Uh It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Don't like that. Someone, someone got blasted. They got Fallout Atomic blasted. <laughs> she already know. Like, I do wish the kills were a little bit more visually interesting because so far they've been like, fade to black, have a sound effect, then you die. Which makes me not want to like constantly die because I have to replay everything. Uh, all right, we're fine. No more spooky. I hear water again. Anything in the toilet? Nothing? He's just still breathing. He is always a little spooky, this guy, though. I think we're fine. Yeah, the Wilhelm scream, dude. What the hell was that? All right, we good? In here, at least. Check the hallway. Gareth, thank you for the gift sub, by the way. 
I see trash can over there. These things are normal. All fine. I mean, at least at first glance, there's nothing obvious in the hallway. It kill me on 15, I will kill you. That's the rule. We need one more. <laughs> Every time, dude. Stressful. But we're fine. This is the last one. Then we win. Look up at the ceilings. Haven't I been doing that the whole time? What the fuck? They're coming for me! What the hell? They're joining the gang. Are you gonna come out there? Uh, oh, they're definitely going to me. They gotta kill me. I'm gonna get killed by wet floor sides. It's security breach. <laughs> Goodbye. Here we go. All right, get ready to lag again. I don't know. It's gonna load something. Yes. It's not, it's not lagging this time. We're okay. Um, oh, why is it always in the black? Please. Oh, there we go. Alrighty then. I don't even have, my hat doesn't have a reflection or I'm just bald now. I'm bald? I don't have a flash. Oh, I do have a flash. I just barely, oh, fuck. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, I fell down the stairs. <laughs> What? The child was singing something. Behind me? There's some like green stuff behind me. Whisper sound effect. Dot MP3. Don't come down here. Freezing temps. Am I doing anything? Is this like that one SCP that's like the endless stairway? Never mind, there's something at the bottom. Don't kill me now, I swear to God. Wait, this is that SCP. <laughs> oh, come on, man! Was it sprinting that killed me there? Wait. Yeah, you son of a dick. <laughs> Come on, man, you gotta go all the way down again. All right then, whatever. <laughs> um, look at this line. Look at this line, the speedrun strats are off the chart. Holy shit. Do I have to look at the face though? Probably. I got you baited, man. I'm gonna look at the face again, because that's what I did last time. Okay, now don't run when we see the exit. That's the mistake I made last time. I was like, oh, I gotta go. Nice. All right, that was simple enough. Way simpler than the damn toilet thing. Escape for 4466. Here we go once again. Uh, 500. This might uh, be the single longest observation duty game I've played. Like... I mean, some of them are long because they're just hard. Someone's got a lot of stuff. Okay, you're sitting on a box. Uh, we have a bush. Don't make a freaking small change on this shit. I'm going to become the Joker. You got biohazard stuff and recycling bin. Um, With a body bag in there. That's apparently normal, I guess. How do you think you're the 500 biddies? We got a bunch more of these. No mirrors here, but five faucets. All right, then another two bins. Another body bag in there. All right, then. I mean, this is... Uh, first one's always clean. Utility room. Yeah, this, so there is one more door after this one, right? That needs to be opened. Oh, I'm a clumsy. Thank you for the 20. <clears throat> we got this easy peasy. There was a knock. That can't be an anomaly on the first one. 
There shouldn't be that many hallway anomalies left. I guess they make it really rare, though. I heard weird sounds. That's the same. Was there always something underneath there? They don't do this, right? They're not gonna do this shit. That would be so rude. Do I actually have to start counting this? It's too messy, man. Beautiful audio lag. Okay, there's body bags in all of these. I think this is normal. There was one underneath there. All right, I'm out of here. Goodbye. No other doors are open. Take a screenshot. I'm not gonna compare it to my screenshot every time. That would take forever. I feel like the dev, this dev knows that that will be messed up. There would be like something obviously different. I mean, we can get a kind of a general gist of what's on here, I guess. Hi. What did I tell you? <laughs> it's just fucking stupid sound effect. <laughs> you son of a bitch. So goofy, dude. All right, give me the... F Wait, don't make that sound. Or is it because I'm spam... Oh, it's because I spammed the button. I see. You can't spam the button. You got killed by baby. Baby, baby, baby. I don't get why I just did that. I didn't expect the babe would come through the glass and murder my ass. Come on, man. I don't do that shit again. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Holy fuck. Whew. Do these go away? Because I can't leave. Help. I can't crouch in this game. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> Holy shit. That was a good one. <laughs> Whoo. That one's got the hard, hard pumping. <laughs> Soft lock by boxes. Amazon delivery. Still a thing that I could never understand is delivering, uh, like that it's allowed in other countries, especially the US, I guess is an example of it, to just leave packages on the front porch. That shit's insane to me. Like, uh, that's not normal. That's extra. Here, it's like if there, if there's no if there's no one at home, they just deliver it to a neighbor. They just they just ding dong the neighbor, and then you just take it. And the reason that works is because it's some it's it's freaking it's mutual. It's like a symbiotic relationship because you do it for them and they do it for you. So you're not gonna steal the package because then next time. They fucking knock on the door with a package for you, then you, <laughs> like, you can't do that. Neighbors steal though, literally, like you made that up. Like I know you hate your neighbor because they party late at night sometimes, but you made that shit up. You made up that they stole your package because they've never delivered it to your neighbor. <laughs> your neighbor would steal it. That's I, I, my point stands. You made it up. We have never had any problems with packages being delivered to the neighbors. And everyone is just like a post office for each other. Just depends on who's home at the time. They'll have like five packages from people in the neighborhood. And then hey, there's nothing here, by the way. I don't think so. I guess I could understand it's like, well, I hid it in the backyard or some shit. But like just dropping it on the porch makes no sense to me. Because that's... Uh, like that's gonna get stolen. That's so much higher of a percentage that gets stolen than your neighbor, because it like also says like where they delivered it. So then your neighbor literally has to just, like, at the price of one package, they have to just permanently ruin the entire relationship of the neighborhood, make it impossible for them to ever get packages when they're not at home and potentially r risk like legal trouble as well like it's so clearly not worth it that anyone who isn't like an absolute dumbass would not steal the package <laughs> uh i think this is fine like the path of least resistance is so clearly to just 
give the package when your neighbors call instead of being like, Oh, no, there was no package. No, I swear. Yeah, it might say on the, like, literal photo that they took of the package that it was delivered here. But I, I, trust me, it's not here. Fucking totally gonna believe that one. Yeah, but get, especially in the US, like, isn't there just a lot more of... Oh, I fucked that one up. Wait, we actually messed it up. Wait, we get to go back. Let's go. First time we've ever done that in like two hours of playing. Wait, 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 wait. What was the problem? Question mark, question mark. Okay, so let's see. So there's an anomaly here that we missed. I'm actually really curious. Pre... B? Coffee. Sorry, <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay, was it in the hallway maybe? Or was it in the... Let's see. Hills here are normal. Hallway looks fine to me. Okay, so in here was something. Was it actually on this? I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Uh, maybe it was in the trash cans? Don't see anything in the trash cans. I saw something in these bins that I don't remember seeing there before. You're not looking at me. You're not being creepy on the wall? What's this? What's on the wall? That's normal. I see my own shadow very creepily. Oh! Okay. There we go. The outlets. All right. Well, now we learned. That's why it's important. That's such a cool feature. That's so important to let the player return so they can spot the anomaly. And then make sure that they're not going to make the same... Can I go back to where I was before? Thank you. Uh, they don't make the same mistake. Nice. Smiley face. Okay, here we go again. Well, the first one is always clear. Let's see the mess, mess it up. Butts on the wall. At least it wasn't the stupid closet. That's what I was mostly curious about. Yeah, that's very sneaky. I mean, there's been some sneaky anomalies before. There's... I mean, you can also just be at home when the package gets delivered, but that's, like, not always possible. But I just don't get it. I don't get the... I feel like it must be so common to get your... Packages stolen when they're just laying out there for a while. And it feels like... Like, unless you sign up for that, that shouldn't be the default. I don't see anything different this time. No power outlets, no power outlets. Hi. I think we're fine. I'm just a little scared because last time we made a mistake, but I'm not... I mean, the wall could be different, but then we'll just figure that out later. Let's just get the hell out of it. What? Anything on the wall? No weird faces. Nothing there. All right. Well, here goes again. Don't screw me over. They WhatsApp you with a photo. I mean, yeah, it makes... I, I understand the hiding part. Like, where you hide a package in the backyard or something. Like, I can I can understand that one. But literally, otherwise, it's just, like, leaving. Especially because the cops don't do anything, right? If your package gets stolen and you have, like, video footage with their face on it and, like, their car and license plate, like, they just say, fuck you. They're just like, we have better things to do. Oh no, don't get killed by the fucking baby again. Which is insane. I mean, I, I guess, but like... The whole point of that is like to make a deterrent of something. Like, if you can arrest them. I guess that's hard to just... I mean, they should play more Shadows of Doubt, baby. Because when I have a face of someone, I will find them in that fucking city. I will ask every living being in the city who the fuck this is. And they will give me an answer. <laughs> Stupid cops won't do that. They don't go above and beyond. Oh. Shadows every time spook me. Nothing in here. Door? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you're super right. The hell? But I don't really get why... I mean, I guess it's just like policy. But aren't cops, like, on the clock? Like, they just get salary? So why the fuck does it matter to them what they're investigating? 
I guess they just they're not allowed by the department's rules or some shit. Like why would it why would it bother, why would it matter to them? Although I guess it is you wouldn't expect that would be very hard in today's society to just run like a face scan on all the camera footage. I, maybe it's like ethically questionable or something. I don't know how that works, man. All right, this looks normal. Don't you kill me. Well, I think so. Too much paperwork. They don't like paperwork. Okay, I think this is all fine then. Check hallway. Don't you do something sneaky again, I swear to God. Walk up to him, will he just kill me? He's gonna go, bah! Look at me. <laughs> 66, oh my God, dude! That's so fucking sneaky as hell, bro! All the numbers say, okay, that's not as sneaky as I thought, but goodness gracious. All the numbers say 666. Holy. <laughs> that's at least, uh, uh, at least it's all of them and not just one. I thought at first that it was just going to be one. The hell? I mean, the whole thing of quotas in this, like, police, there's, like, departments that have, like, quotas, right? We need to hand out so many parking tickets. That shit's wild. Like, if there's no crime, you can't hand out tickets. Why? How could you make a quota for something that, like, that's, that's like, ripe for corruption? And people just punishing, like, the smallest infractions they can find. Because I, I am also kind of fucked up like that. Like, whenever I'm driving somewhere, and this is, like, the stupidest thing, because obviously, if it's, like, a an automatic speed detector. They're not gonna give a shit. But whenever there's like a lot of people driving over the speed limit, I'm like, well, everyone's doing it. <laughs> so they're not gonna pull me over. <laughs> but I guess that doesn't matter because you're still gonna get fined. Although I've never had a speeding ticket in my life. I've never had a, any ticket in my life. So I guess, I guess it's worked so far. Although I don't drive that much. All right, this is all looking good. There were still bodies in there. No, like, swapped around. The left one is always red, so yeah. I still don't understand how Germans can just have, like, no speed limits. And it just works. Shit's insane. Okay, I think we're all good here. Don't you dare be rude to me. <laughs> can, you get a dirt can you get a speeding ticket in Germany? That shit's like a an achievement. <laughs> achievement unlocked. It's a yeah, I know it's only on the highway, so I'm just making a joke. Uh Alright, don't murder my ass. Every time the shadow that pops up when I walk close to this man. Uh, what? There's a face on the floor! Dude, that's so fucking sneaky! You see that? Holy man! I'm glad we pay attention. <laughs> Your bus driver got a speeding ticket? Who pays that? <laughs> Does this go out of their salary or what? <laughs> I assume. Otherwise, there would be no punishment. Um, the government does, but then... Wait, this is differently shaped. They're usually pointing straight up at the back. Now they're, like, laying flat inside of it. Yeah, same thing as here. They're, all of these are, like, sideways, so that's an anomaly. Dude, they're throwing all the sneaky ones at me, thinking I'm not gonna get them. They'll get fired, maybe? Yeah, okay, okay, for sure. I mean, that makes sense. Your Uber got a speeding ticket? I mean, Ubers are just cars. They're not like a... They're just... Oh, Jesus fucking shit, you piece of balls. Holy fuck, that one is so stupid. I hate it. <laughs> get me out of here. It scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.
Holy fuck. Do you need to do this 666 times? Yes. Are you ready for the long run? We've been doing this 500 times in a row. Whew. All right. <laughs> Every fucking time. Oh. Feel like something loaded in. Ah! Not this time! You smiley bitches! Your cell phone went flying. That's why you said look up. Like, can you see the boxes there? I'm pretty sure they spawn in. Just like, I mean, maybe not. I don't know. All right, no babies. Just nothing that kills me, please. Show me all this, the silly ones. He's still fine. All right. Uh, we good? Always scary. Don't see any 666s. That box jump scare, man. Like, how do you prepare for that? Just impossible. All right, let's check the hallway. <clears throat> Smiley bitches. I've been... I'm, uh, I'm, like, documenting my journey through stupid YouTube shorts channels one stream at a time. I found this new channel that's actually like the best shit I've ever seen in my life. It's this guy pretending to be like a moth in the mafia and he plays like every character and it's actually like the most emotionally compelling shit I've ever seen in my life. It's just him talking to himself. Sometimes he's talking about food and being like, what do you, what is the best donut? What's the best muffin? What's the best pizza topping? And other times he's like, you need to believe in yourself. <laughs> and it's just emotionally compelling. <laughs> that shit is so good. And there's always the people in the comments that are like, you should make a movie. You should make a movie. No, that's like the first time I've ever... Like, I... Like, YouTube shorts are a guilty pleasure for me. Uh, I just watch them every now and then when I'm like, Oh my god, he's gonna explode! Get me out of here! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but that shit is actually the first time where I'm like, this is someone who has mastered the format and who has actually transformed it into something that is like genuinely good. <laughs> like genuinely and not just like engagement baiting some guy is talking at the top with some gameplay at the bottom bullshit like it's actually transforming the the concept in a really interesting way six six that's two sixes but yeah it seems like a lot of people know him as well he has a bit bit of a like confusing name to remember so every time i want to like look back up like one of his videos i have to go like in my last like in my view history you should really rebrand into something that's easy to remember instead of like the real the real mod kit or something i don't know <laughs> i don't actually like i've looked at it several times trying to remember it and it's just impossible because it's like a super long name that's all like lowercase with no capitalization um uh, <clears throat> Fucking jump scare every time, bro. No sixes. Something looked off on that. The real Sam called tip. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I know you can't remember it if you like actually try hard, but not one of those names you just pick up over time. God, I don't see anything here. Um, but yeah, you should check out one of them. Highly recommend. I think we're fine here. We're so close to winning. I don't know if there's gonna be six chapter. Probably yes. Uh, I'm I'm too. I'm, we're so deep in now. We gotta win. Is there always open boxes? Does the clock always say six thirty? Did I say the? Oh, it's just some cult. To, I, I that's how it's typed, and I remember the K in there. Which is confusing. Okay, I think we're fine, so I'm gonna move on. 
But you better not kill my ass. The clock was always 6.30, right? Don't you fucking film me now. <laughs> okay. Box jump scare. No box jump scare. Don't you stand up and kill me. Wait, this is towards- this is at the wall. It's usually not towards the wall, right? There's like one missing- there's extra shelves. Extra shelf. Yeah, get me out of here. Just double checking with you guys. Okay, two more! Two more! It's insane. I, I'm- and we have been basically flawless. I think we made, I mean, we've died a few times just for the memes. We have made one like true mistake. If you're not familiar with observation duty, you're never going to beat this game. Um, this guy is not being a, a creepy fuck. Nothing. No faces on the ground. It's it's very much in our best interest to take it slow now for these last few rounds. The Alt F4 one was great. I can't believe it actually allowed me to continue after that too. Uh, all right, check the hallway now. There's, it can still be hallway as well. Bottle says 666. Well, that was an anomaly, but I don't see it. No, it's not. Don't see it. I don't see anything. Unless on here, maybe. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Do I just do that again? <laughs> or did it just skip me to the next one? Were we on 14? We are on 14, right? So this is just the next floor. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we were on 14. So just get me straight to the next one. <laughs> I mean, for you guys, it must have been less confusing because you have my, my face still on there. So you're like, wait, why is it some on top of my blue screen? Wait, big box? Is it mirrored now? Was it always mirrored? Wait, no, it's not mirrored. Wait, it looks so weird. But I... That was obviously an anomaly, yeah, but it already did it. Did it go back? Yeah, but we're on 15, guys. Unless we have to go back now. But we're on the next floor, right? Like, it's... We were on 14. We had the blue screen and sent us to 15. Oh. You guys said I was on 14. Oh, okay then. <laughs> okay. Never mind though. Alright, here we go. We go back. <laughs> Fix my PC. <laughs> I see. I got one guide. Alright. I see, I see. Buy a new PC. Let's restart so fast though, don't you think? I was back in the game within a few seconds. I like, don't box jump scare, you bitch. Here's Johnny. No. <laughs> Here's Johnny. <laughs> So fucking good, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Alrighty then. <laughs> dude, this game is awesome. <laughs> oh god, the loading. It's gonna lag my people. Never mind, we're fine. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? I can't see. What the fuck are you, bro? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Um, he's breaking through walls. Sir, I can't look behind me because you can't sprint backwards, I don't think. He's breaking through! Oh boy, do I have to make you break a wall, maybe? Luckily, I have infinite spread. He's so close. 
Oh, I need to use to break this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck. I gotta loop you around this. Wait, I need you to break this, sir. Yes. Okay, get looped. Can I go in there now? Not yet. I gotta loop him again. Get looped around here. Loop strat. Idiot. Oh, God. I'm the idiot. Okay, next one. Yes. I can go, right? Yo, yeah, get me out of here. Eat shit. You can't come in here, right? <laughs> Green shot. Goodbye. Nice. Okay. There's, this is one more. 16 more levels, guys, and we finally beat this fucking game. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Uh, 600. Here we go. It's a damn marathon. Oh, hi there. What the hell? There's so much stuff. Okay, we got big med kits. Uh, we have creepy x-rays. This guy's still chilling. We have lots of vitamins. We never have to really pay attention to the individual boxes besides that one with the numbers. So I think we'll be fine. Uh, this is always normal, but I'm just making sure that no, we need to look at it for the first time. Okay, so we, we got a little glance of it. Moving along. Oh, I think this, I mean, the, I think this is a good way to make your game like past the, the steam limit of like two hours. Cause there's actually some new content to it. I mean, if you don't like this type of game, then don't buy the type of game, you know? But I like the... Because we play so many individual observation duty games, might as well have one that actually has some meat on it. I don't see anything. <laughs> that seems like it would not really fly. <laughs> yeah, it's a checkpoint. 600, 600. Imagine it wasn't a checkpoint. You had to do it flawlessly from the beginning. That shit would be fucked up. <laughs> that doesn't seem like it's going to be safe. Yeah, but let me just wash my hands and then blow it all over the place. Okay, nothing here. I think we're good. Unless something in the hallway is up, but I don't think it is. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, hell mode, because there is a harder mode. There is hell mode. Imagine hell mode is one failure sets you back to zero. That shit would be stupid. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, that was totally fine. I'm definitely never playing that. That seems so annoying. Uh, what the fuck? Hello? It's that monster from Remnant Records. You're like in the floor. Oh God. Oh Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that actually got me pretty good. <laughs> I jumped again. The date better not bring back the fucking boxes. I swear to God. <laughs> if they bring back the boxes, I'm gonna scream. So this is. There were six doors from the beginning because of this, because of every single chapter requiring one of these. Okay. That, well, this is second one. Is that wall different? No. Never mind. It's the same. It just looks like a little darker. Feels like something is missing. But I might just be insane. Mirror over there. I can't go in this area, which is fine. I wanted to see. I mean, we were literally on like number two. It's fine that we die. Uh, yeah, I don't really see anything. I'm just going to move along. Don't make me fail. Is the bother with water moving? Yeah, I saw that there was like a graphical glitch on that, but... <clears throat> I don't think that was... That was real because it was normal. There you go. All right, don't kill me again, please. It's not you. So close. We're almost there. I like that this dev like clearly has fun with making all the anomalies. Hi there, buddy. Nothing weird back here. So it's gonna be two normals in a row. You can't start like this. 
Hell mode is worse. Yeah, obviously it's called hell mode. It would be <laughs> very strange if it was not worse. I don't think there's anything in here. On the table? Message? Hole in the bed. Yeah, that's so you can like put your head down there, right? No? <laughs> that's, I'm pretty sure that was there before. Right? Is that it? Was that not there before? I mean, it looks a little fucked up, but... Monitor is gone? The monitor is right there. There was never a computer next to this, right? It is no- Hole is an anomaly? Alright! It's better- I mean, we're on level 2. I can just yell at you guys. It's not. I don't think it's either, but... Oh, no, never mind. You guys were right. Wait, is it actually true? Holy shit, gamers! I'll never be yell at you guys ever again. You saved my life. I will not forget this kindness. Oh, fuck. There's a baby. Get me out of here. <laughs> it's gonna kill me in some goofy-ass way. <laughs> Never doubt, baby. They just make like a goofy sound effect and kill you, and then you're set back to zero, man. Uh, find nothing back there. That's good. Table is all fine. Yeah, chest forever shielded until the next mistake you guys make. Then it's all back to square one, which I don't think I'll have to wait long for that one. But this area is normal. Is there a fucking baby behind you? Wait. Never mind. It's just a chair and the door's open. Um, Everything here looks same. There was a hole before and I filled that one. Hole in the table as well. Is there just holes everywhere? Um, Alright, guess we check the hallway because I don't see anything else. Hallway looking fine. You heard a whisper? Maybe on my back, behind me? Imagine. Don't think we have to spin around quickly to see it. That'd be so sneaky. Let's see anything. I think we're good. Let's just go, because if we're not good, we can just replay and we're only on... We can re-see it if we're only on four anyway, so it's not like we're losing much. We're only really on three, because the first one is free. That was normal. Now we're back all the way here, so we have to run through everything. Stop with the clicking sound. All right, don't. The lights are on. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Oh, that's that's weird. <laughs> that's so strange. Get me out of here before some wacky thing kills me. Yeah, look behind you, chat. The bracken is coming for you. Bracken's still like potential for one of the best monsters I've ever seen in a horror game. It's actually the monster that made me play Lethal Company in the first place. Because I... Like it was the day that Lethal Company came out. I was like looking at it because... What the fuck? All the textures are gone. <laughs> I'm not gonna go in there because you know it's just gonna fucking like, oh, you goofy ass, you got in there when the textures were gone, you silly, let's die. Uh, but I remember I was like, I bought the game to test it if it was like gonna be good for stream. And I walked in and I got killed by a bracken to scare the crap out of me. And then I was like, all right, we're playing this. <laughs> My first ever death in Lethal Company was to a bracken. It was also, like, on experimentation, which is pretty fucked up. Look at this guy! He's fabulous! I'm not gonna walk up to you. He's gonna bitch slap me across the sky. He's slaying. <laughs> Bracken gets me still. Not as... I mean, Bracken was one of the most annoying enemies originally. Now I'm just spinning in circles. That's that one made me the most paranoid employee every time. 
high quarter runs. We're just chilling for a moment. High quarter runs are such a commitment. Hi. Now he's freaking normal. Oh, this. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? That was so good. <laughs> that was such a good one, man. These are really creative. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Did not expect that. I was like, who's watching me? Very, very unique. Because I at first I was like, that's the same one. I've seen that one before. Right, not that monster back there. Don't want you to kill my ass again. Look at normal. We haven't had a normal in a little while. So probably going to be normal. That's how that works, right? Totally. Nothing back here. The x-rays I paid attention to. Those are definitely the same. No 666s six, six, on this. Alrighty. Um, don't see anything in the hallway either. I think we're good to go. The, the guy is meditating. Don't feel. 10, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The fact that there's so few sneaky ones makes you like constantly have to be paranoid as hell. This is like, there's a weird, it's like Z fighting with the table or something. Also, that looks messed up. 609, nice. Yeah, the, that's a sneaky one. I don't remember that shit on the floor. No, no way. It's oh, it's six 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 spelled out with <laughs> with uh, doctor equipment <laughs> or cords. Nice. It's a constant every time. It's the returning six six six. It's crazy how many organs are coming out there next week. It's fuck. We're born. And what was the other? Pine Harbor also coming out there's another game from a dev that i follow that's coming out as well it's coming out on the 24th too many games i don't have enough time to play them all table is moving no it's okay though i also want to play my original plan was playing inscription or darkwood over the weekend but i guess we'll have to wait with that for a bit I think we're okay. The number of the beast. Of course, of course. How is that come to be, by the way? How is, why is 666 the, the number? I don't see anything. I'm leaving. 60 par 6. I still have a 60 par 6 video that's going out. Tonight, I think? I'm not. I think so. God, when I scheduled it. Maybe tomorrow. We're fine. I mean, maybe. Probably. I'm leaving. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, no, it's a plant. I thought there was someone above the door looking at me. That's a fucking plant. <laughs> thought it was a creepy guy. Come on, we're so close. I'm going extra slow. I mean, it's fine. If we fail, we'll just... We'll see more crazy anomalies. Oh, you son of a bitch. Can't be doing this. A bracket and... The fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? It's teleporting me, like, back into the... What the fuck? That's so weird. <laughs> that's gotta be an anomaly. No way that's a bug. Never ending corridor. There you go. <laughs> Super Mario 64 stairway. <laughs> it's 
666 was Jesus' winning lotto numbers? What the hell? I don't think that's canon. Alright, no 666. I mean, there's definitely some optimization issues in the game, but I don't- wait. Don't- <laughs> that was obviously not one of them. I think this one is normal. It's true, I was there. But I got so many se I guess it's a few months in advance. Interesting. I've never even- Because obviously you gotta think about- You gotta plan ahead. I've never seen a calendar like that. Yeah, this looks a little- There's a few things that I'm seeing for the first time. Like this below here in the trash over there. But I'm assuming those were there before. Although I have no idea. Because I, I have the observation duty effect with those. Check the ceiling. Ceiling looks fine to me. But hey, if it's one of those, totally normal calendar. Holes are all fine. They were there. All right, well, here we go. Please don't be wrong. I'm gonna play hell mode. Not today, definitely. <laughs> hell mode doesn't seem very fun, like a single mistake. Doing that, like imagine that. Imagine we were at 613. All right, let's see what the mistake was. <laughs> And <laughs> we'd be going back three hours in the past. <laughs> Shit would be so annoying. All right, what was the mistake though? We definitely didn't see anything. Wait, but now we're just gonna see the same thing again. So we need to pay attention. So there's trash right there. And there's something below beneath there. Maybe it's one of these. Is there pattern in the chair? Two med kits? Yeah, there's always here two med kits. Those are definitely the same. The stool? That? This? Let's just look at it and then we'll go again. And we'll compare. Something in the hallway maybe? We really gotta know what this is. Stool next to the operating table. This one? Wasn't that always there? With I'm pretty sure that was always there. Painting move? There's maybe it's something in the hallway. Check from the beginning. I just want to check it so we don't make the same mistake because we're going to have to go through here again and somehow survive. Mm. That's the same. No, like 666 on here. Imagine. You're so stupid. The ceiling? This ceiling? I really don't see anything, so it's gonna be like comparing it to the normal one. The, the two times waterfall photos is the same. It's been like that forever. That's the same as well. Compare x-rays to normal. Yeah, so we have hands. I mean, the baby I remember. All right, well, here goes nothing. Two exit signs? There's always two exit signs. It's one there and one there. Uh, let's go back and compare. There's something in the bit. Well, let's see. I don't think we. Maybe we can't go back there again. All right, what's in here? Bro, I actually don't know what that was. It's not this underneath. It's not that. Oh, there was an. X there was something with the X-rays. There was an extra X-ray, maybe. Hasn't one of them moved? Didn't this move? Can someone go back? No? Can someone review that? I really don't know because I'm not seeing anything different. This is also in the chair. That is actually the first time that I don't know what was the problem. Maybe something in here that was different? Extra light? Really? The calendar in the hallway? This, ho this ceiling is definitely good. Can we- can we go back? Is that a possibility? We can go back. Okay. What the fuck? <clears throat> so the- the x-rays are definitely the same. Oh! How the fuck did we miss that? I did gamers don't look up, dude. 
Oh. <laughs> Gamers don't look up. It's been proven once again. All right, there you go. We finally figured that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, this is true. Gamers do not look up. <laughs> All right, well, first of all, it's gonna be clear. Damn. I mean, it was only at a certain angle is the problem, right? Because I must have looked up at least at one point, but it is specifically that direction you have to look at. <laughs> I mean, the ce it wasn't the ceiling though. It's the thing. Like I've looked at the ceiling, I just didn't look at that thing. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if we saw it, we would have immediately known. Does that makes sense. All right, let's see. Nothing here this time. I'm spinning in circles looking up. Don't see shit. Yeah, don't see anything weird. No 666. Six, six, no. F All right, I think we're good. Crash. All right, get me out of here. Didn't check the hallway. Goodbye. <laughs> I mean, that's fine to... Like, you gotta know, you gotta figure it out. Calendar color? Are we gonna be reset again? Nope. There you go. And now we're on the right side, which is perfect. Don't you murder my ass. No baby? No baby. No, the x-rays were not the problem. I'm looking at- There you go, you piece! Son of a bitch! Not again! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Got him. Look up. We've done it. We have looked up. <laughs> There's got to be some research done on that. Why don't gamers look up? It's because game the it's because almost never there is Oh god, get me out of here. That can kill you. There's almost never anything that you gain from looking up. <laughs> There's almost never anything there in games. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. There was a there was a lady, a lady ghost that was gonna kill me if I looked at her too long, which has happened before. So that's why I speed ran the shit out of there. No baby, no. Ca I don't think we have to worry about the cameras anymore. Um, he's just chilling. No weird calendars. I think we're good. Still look up. I'm still. I was looking up. I don't see anything. No, no 666s on the floor, no hole in the thing. All right, get me the fuck out of here. Unless it's in the hallway. Wait, was there? I thought there was some, something that snuck behind the door there. Uh, that's fine. We're good. It's only the early game, so we can't... The oh, fuck? It felt like it disappeared, but I was just looking at it from the side. All right, all good. Seems fine. Dude, we need this last one is tough. 12 more or 11 more times. Oh, probably 12 total. There's five also counts. All right, that was good. Nice. Uh, let's look at the hallway right away. Don't see anything here. Weeping Angel, thank you for the three. I don't have anything that murders me. Camera's fine. Looking up. I'm looking up. Child! Child! <laughs> I still don't know if that could kill you, but I'd rather not find out. <laughs> That's why I've been slowly looking around that corner the whole time. <gasps> I'm scared. Run, it's a child. <laughs> I'm scared. Warning child. Children have uh, historically killed me many times in this game, which isn't very nice. You haven't seen a like repeating hallway anomaly. Okay, you are looking normal. Oh no, one of these. Get me out. Wait, is it this the one that's super creepy? You want to see something super creepy? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good, dude. <laughs> It didn't trigger right away. Get me out. <laughs> Such a good one. Nice. Okay. We are gonna get there. No, no mistakes. 
to Gordon Ramsay. What's Gordon Ramsay doing nowadays? He's still doing stuff? Probably. Oh! There's just a hole right there. You guys are right. Get me out of here. Hole in the... In the bed. He's cooking? I mean, true. <laughs> he do be cooking. I have this, like thing that lives like rent free in my brain i don't watch like all mr mr beast video but i watched this one where he like doesn't eat for 30 days or he tries to and it's like the weirdest moment in any mr beast video ever in my opinion is where he like goes on a cooking thing with gordon ramsay during that video and then gordon ramsay just peer pressures the shit out of him to lose his like no eating challenge because he needs to like no one's ever not eaten my food you have to eat this sandwich like you gotta eat this sandwich right now is the most like f like stupid moment ever like what the fuck gordon ramsay don't you understand that he's trying to do something crazy and then he was just like well i guess i eat it and then it was just like video's over now i lost like what <laughs> the fuck Gordon Ramsay. It's part of the bit. I mean, it was, if it was a bit, it was an extremely awkward bit. And usually bits in Mr. B's videos are like really overly dramatic and overly done. But it was just like, well, guess I eat it. Well, I lost. Goodbye. It was like 14 days in, which it was kind of wild to see that you can just like not eat any solid food. I mean, I don't know if he was drinking. Like, I think he was just drinking water. Like he was genuinely just not eating somehow. Still done. That's like such a weird video. I didn't even know that was possible. Like he was just drinking a lot of water. Look up. Nothing. Nothing up. Thanks, gamers. Looking out for me. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't work in 60 seconds if you never played that game. Come on, man. Uh, I don't see shit. Look down. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. <clears throat> it was fasting. Uh, all right then, let's quickly check. This is actually normal, which is always spooky. We know. Look what happened down in real life. Got to make sure there's no IRL anomalies. All right, I think we're good. Don't you fuck me up here. Here into the fourth dimension real quick. Old Spice commercial. I remember when those were going like mega viral. The x-rays looks correct to me. I right, don't fail us on the 609. Come on. It's got to be nice. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Go on Instagram. Why are you? I was talking about Gordon Ramsay and then he popped up. Did you? Don't walk in there. It's no texture zone. Nice. That's a fast one. Your Instagram is listening to you. That was a quick one. All right, we're at 11. This guy hasn't... Are the chairs a different pattern or am I insane? I swear they were like stripes before. If I just gaslit myself... Wait, we can compare it to this chair, can't we? No, that's not the same chair. They're actually the same. Can someone just go back in the VOD? <laughs> it is the same? How the fuck did we... I just went insane. X-ray? X-ray looks the same. That Those two are the same. That is the leg like skinnier than before? Smile. Oh, smiley's all over the wall. You're right. What the fuck? So they were actually not. Damn, the chairs were the same. I've just never. Oh, God. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. It's trying to kill me. <laughs> it was moving weirdly. I don't like that. Get me out of here. All right. All right. So the chair was normal. That's literally something we've looked at for the last three hours. That's what I'm telling you. The observation duty or the observation. Like, sorry. The observation duty effect is real. Like, suddenly this looked weird to me. I just hadn't paid attention to it ever. And suddenly I was like, this can't be right. It can't, it just simply cannot be right. 
Hello? Is there the baby we already got, right? We already got baby. I don't have to be scared of the child anymore. Scary ass child. There's 666. Holy. We're going so fast. Nice. We're almost there. Come on. Just a few more anomalies. And we're gonna be fine. Have you ever seen Gordon Ramsay react to like someone else's cooking? It's actually, I'm sorry, Gordon Ramsay. It's actually the worst content I've ever seen in my entire life. He has like the weirdest camera angles. He doesn't say anything of value. He just says like, he just repeats the same shit over and over again. <laughs> and he just always calls it bad and, and he like barely does anything. He, oh God, what the fuck? Excuse me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We're in exit eight, bro. That's such a cool one. What the fuck? <laughs> That's amazing. Wait, what? <laughs> Security camera in operation. Hello there. What the fuck? We're in a different game now? Hi there! Uh, what the hell, dude? That's so cool. <laughs> I gotta take some screenshots. Shit's priceless. Alright, well. Uh, did the door just move? The door is moving. There's also a guy there. Dude, all the anomalies have come to play. Look at this, 666. Doors are slamming. There's a fa- This one is so sneaky in exit eight, by the way. This one got me so many times. It's way sneakier in the actual one. There's a face. Go back. I wanna see it. Are the eyes following us? I wanna go say hi to these fools. Never mind, get me out of here! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> that was so cool, dude. Was it just a regular ass anomaly? What? <laughs> that was insane. I'm so glad I got that one. That's so cool. All right, get me out of here, man. <laughs> That's such a cool, like, homage to the uh, original Exit 8. Super cool. <laughs> well, well, well. Nothing too crazy. We gotta get these last ones. No mistakes. Oh, look up. Look up. I don't see anything up. You're still fine. Gotta go slow. Gotta be myth- Oh, it's this one. Okay. Perfect, perfect. It's one that we can just immediately know that it's wrong. Get me out of here. Okay, two more. We need 15, we need 16, then we win the game. Come on. Don't you screw me up now. I mean, worst case. Wait, is it the one that pushes you backwards again? Yeah, wait, that's huge. Right? That wasn't just a glitch? Yeah, totally. Nice, lag corridor. What the fuck? That's insane. Okay, one more. A single one. That's actually a repeat hallway one that we didn't see. Or the, the, the first time we've seen a repeat in the hallway, I think. <laughs> Unless it's not related to the hallway, but it's related to the other room. Okay, wait, it's hallway again? No, that was an actual glitch. <laughs> that was a normal glitch. What the fuck? Is there something crazy happening? Because it's glitching all over. There's something like loading right now. There's got to be an anomaly around because some weird shit is going on. Unless it's just like laggy for no reason. Okay, up there is the same. You're still normal. They haven't seen... Oh, yeah, we had the one where he like crosses his legs. Up. Nothing up. 
This is normal, no holes in that. I am so suspicious. So many power outlets. That looks the same. I swear to God, dude. Couldn't you just have one final anomaly for me here? I swear I heard someone walk behind me there for a sec. Um, I'm gonna double check everything. Why was it so laggy? It's not laggy anymore, so I guess it's just it was just a small hiccup. Alright, no 666 uh, anywhere here. Final one is not always clean. I don't remember. We've definitely had some weird ones. The double exit signs is fine. I think this is actually clear. I'm going to check this one more time. Wait a minute. Has this always been bugged? Like the tiling here, has that always been off? Yes. The tiling here doesn't make any sense, but I'm assuming that's just because the texture is applied incorrectly. Don't remember? Yes. I mean, if people saw that before, I've then I assume it's normal. All right. Well, then we're gonna keep going. Gas yeah, animus. I mean, I definitely have never seen that, but um, that would have been. That, I feel like that's a too sneaky one for this game, actually. The floor. Um, I think I think it's normal. We're gonna go, and worst case scenario, we'll have to go again. Thank you, Pan. Thank you for the 18. And we'll get to see what the mistake was. Alright, here we go. Don't you fucking dare. Yes! Oh. Yes! We're on floor 666, baby! <laughs> we have made it <laughs> Okay, no that was good Hallway looking normal what's kind of stuff's gonna happen I would like to exit uh Oh, I can't go backwards do I have to run? Look up. Hi there! Oh god, fuck me! Hello, sir! I've gotta die. Goodbye. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> gotta make sure to run. <laughs> I've been murdered. Alright, here we go. This time I will run right away. Because it gives us like a head start. Okay, here we go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Counting down. It's like that section from Escape the Back Rooms. Dude, I have such a head start and he's still gonna kill me. What the fuck? <laughs> the ghost in there? Is he behind me? Oh, he's coming! The that guy! Smiley face, all the characters we know and love. Hello. <laughs> uh, syringes? I am so gonna die at least one more time. What the fuck? Oh, water, of course. <laughs> Is that face from before? <laughs> Even the wet floor side. It's got making their return. How <laughs> the windows escape thing? Oh, come on, man! <laughs> I was looking at all the things. I was having a good time, you dickhead. <laughs> it's like, uh... Everyone gets another... Gets gets a comeback. <laughs> Alright, if we run right away... There, 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 there. Go, go, go. How did it get me, though? I was going, like, full throttle the whole way. Running from my problems. Running from the dentist. Okay. He's he's at the elevator. We can look at them, but also get a speed run, even the pictures and everything. I don't know if I run into any of these, it'll kill me. Eyeballs from before. We've literally seen like almost all anomalies then. Because I recognize all of these. I don't know the black void there. Come on, don't get me, don't get me, don't get me. I'm almost there! The baby, the thing. He's right by me, bro. Even the camera and that one. Come on! The child! Do you see the child was at the end? You dickhead. <laughs> of course. Well, screenshot. I love that they just stand there <laughs> when you get here. All right, goodbye. Bye-bye.
Nice. First time finished floor 666. Holy shit. That actually might be the longest observation you'd get. <laughs> you fucking... This is like when you do a school project and one guy does all the work. <laughs> VTuber! <laughs> That's so good. School 666 is coming to Steam. All right, well, we got to check that one out, too. I thought this was a really fun and really clever spin on Exit 8, like uh, having multiple chapters, so you have different checkpoints, different areas, so you don't have to pay attention to the same area all the time. Um, oh, what the fuck? Um, wait a minute. Maybe it's not over yet. Hi, sir. I don't have a flashlight or anything. Is this an anomaly? <laughs> Is this like start of a new round? Uh, what? I'm just gonna quickly, I'm assuming this is an anomaly and it's just gonna count up and we're gonna restart unless this is, unless this is the start, wait a minute. Unless this is hell mode. We've upgraded the hell mode and this is normal. Wait a minute, this is gonna just look like this the whole time? No fucking way. That's gonna make it so confusing if we ever decide to play this. Everyone's gonna be like, are you sure all the blood is normal? Yes, we gone over this. Yeah, okay then. Uh, I'm assuming this is Helma. Wait, can I go back to the menu, return to menu? I don't know if it saves. Uh, new game, there you go. Return to floor, zero, 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 if you fail. That is insanely annoying and stupid. Definitely not gonna hop into that right away. Uh, like, in that last game, we failed at the very end. It basically means you have to, like, know every single anomaly. Otherwise, like, this is impossible. And it would just be very annoying, which at that point, it's kind of just a participation trophy because you've spotted everything. I mean, you got to pay real close attention. Every time you have to go through to say that it's normal, it's going to be so scary. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you thought about that. I thought it was very fun. Also, this message here, warning this version may cause your game to crash. The only way they put this here because there's nothing I can do about it and it didn't even happen. <laughs> In the, maybe it's just a troll. Maybe it's a troll uh to set you up for the blue screen jump scare or something anyway hope you enjoyed that if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely game share and chat you can join us over at twist.tv slash instagram get the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs> all right let's go well we have a little bit more time so we can actually quit the game i got an achievement for that we can actually play another horror game that game was so much longer than i expected i have three short horror games i'm just gonna pick a random one so we'll play this one. Uh, it's called Tales from the Night Cafe. Should be a short game. I don't know what it's about. I mean, it's about a... Oh, oh no, I do remember this one. Uh, this is from the same developer who made that snow game I played a while ago. Feet in the Snow, I think it was called. Which has had an insanely cool art style. Uh, so let's... I mean, I love the art style already. Let's see what this is about. Tales from a Night Cafe. Enter the cafe. Here we go. I'm going. <clears throat> oh, hello there. What the? These graphics are so cool. <laughs> man drinking coffee. Woman eating cake. Man eating salad. All right. I'll talk to man drinking coffee. Hello. I have a Halloween story to tell you. Would you like to hear it? Yes. You should just say no. Fuck you. Oh. I like this. The story starts in a quaint little cottage on Halloween night. Oh, I have to play through it, I see. Uh, hallway. I'm going to click on the bed. As much as I would rather sleep, I have a party to go to. Lock window. Yes. I get to impact the story. I got to save them from themselves. Got to change history. Well, we're going into the hallway. Lock all the windows. Downstairs bedroom. We just came from the bedroom, I assume. So we're going to go bathroom first. Also lock that window. Then we're forget going to forget one window. And they're going to go in. Oh, hi there. I thought I was a man. I need to put my costume on before I leave. Okay. Is there a costume anywhere? 
I guess we found it downstairs. One more window in the hallway. One more window. I've already locked this window. Apparently, I've already locked both of these. At least that's what it's saying. We go downstairs. It's like a cool effect because it's probably like a, a visual effect that's put over like a 3D asset, but it looks very convincing. Yes. Uh, upstairs. Where's my cos costume? You only have to click one in each room. I mean, I definitely lock multiple in the other room. Computer, but lock the back door. Yes. Uh, no, don't unlock it, you idiot. I'm going to unlock everything. We're walking around naked. We got to make sure everything is locked. Lock the window. or And then lock the front door. I'm just going to make a quick tour around. And lock everything. And then interact with stuff. Okay. Let's see. Can I interact with anything else? Nothing in here. But I'm pretty sure I've locked every door. White sucks. Thank you for the three. Um, let's go kitchen again. Can I not eat a snack? Office. We could go on the computer. Uh, phone? I don't need to call anyone right now. Uh, sorry, no subjects, blah blah blah. I can't believe they fired you just like that. I know you don't want to tell anyone, but they will understand. Plus, you need someone to talk to in person. Enjoy the party tonight, but, but maybe talk about it tomorrow with Lucy or someone. You can always come and see me. You could use a holiday. I'm happy to pay for the ticket. From Mary to Sal, your Sal. Can't click on anything else. Uh, I can't, can't call anyone still. Okay, so we're going to leave. Shouldn't we put on our costume first? Uh, keys. Just a set of spare keys. You're not going to take those? Someone's going to steal them. And then they're going to kill you. You don't know what... Ho You're in a horror game, lady. You got to be careful. Okay, I guess... Can I just leave? <laughs> bedroom? Didn't we already go to the bedroom? Or was that another bedroom? Maybe, maybe that was another bedroom. Oh, this is the bedroom we came from, but we gotta put on our costume. There we go. Wait, can we look in the mirror again? I'm actually curious. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> look at that. That's actually... That's a, a convincing costume. My costume is a little last minute, but it'll do. I like it. <laughs> Spooky, scary skeleton with the dark dress. I always... I don't know. I like it when all the costumes are easily removable. Because then if you go somewhere and not everyone is committed to the costume, you're not there like fully like painted with your faces like blue and you're like, what the hell? I'm so out of place here. This is awkward as fuck. Better to be like underdressed and have a slight costume than be completely overdressed. <laughs> I will leave. Otherwise you're stuck. Uh, do I lock my, can I lock my front door? Lock it. Log door. I have locked everything. All right. Nice area. Yes, indeed. I will be leaving. Leave and go to the party. Yes, I've locked everything. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I forgot one thing. I'm just going to walk along the road. This is spooky. Is there blood somewhere? Hello. Okay, they have committed to the bit harder than I did. Sorry about my friend. Just ignore him. He's drunk. He hasn't even talked to me yet. Hey, nice costume. You're looking so hot. I'm not interested, buddy. Wh whatever, you're not even that, <laughs> of course. Classic. Classic. Walk home, just leave immediately. Um, nice music. I'm going living room. Oh my god. Okay, everyone is a little bit more committed than I am. Maybe I am underdressed. I did not realize you guys were all gonna go crazy on these costumes. Nice costume. Thanks, you too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what? Uh, skeleton sounds? <laughs> oh, a fellow skeleton enjoying the party? Uh, sure. Good, there's more food and drink in the kitchen. Which? Do I see my friend's eyes through that mask? Uh, you sure do. You can't fool me. Skeleton cowboy. Howdy. Dead cow. Well, hi. Yeehaw! <laughs> alien? Hello, human. Hello, alien. I come in peace. Unless you want to be pro. <laughs> oh my god. You fuck. Look at that demon costume. Holy shit. Can you see I'm talking to someone? Oh, I'm sorry. You should be. Jesus Christ, you suck. Boo? Abu? 
<laughs> Did I make you jump? Yeah, good one. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Can I go backwards? All the way. I got a boo, dude. Suit robot. Hello, how are you? Nice costume. Dude, these people go so hard on their Halloween costumes. Holy shit. That's such a cool costume. <laughs> you look great. Thanks, this costume is left over from a convention I went to. Didn't want to let it go to waste. Windows. I don't think I have to lock introverts are in the kitchen. Everyone thinks I'm some kind of superhero. I'm a witch! Uh, you look great anyway. I suppose that's what matters. Hello, clown. I hope I locked all of my windows and doors. Me too! You should always double check. I've done that. I mean, I think so. <laughs> Hopefully. You okay? Uh, um, why do you ask? You have that look on your face. You want to talk? Uh, yeah, sure. Are you to be trusted, though? I just lost my job. Is it a little oversharing? I don't, do we know this person? <laughs> I'm assuming we do because we're at the party together. We all make mistakes. Why do you think it's my fault that I lost my job? You suck, dude! Immediate victim blaming? I regret ever talking to you in the first place. <laughs> you peas? Some drinks are laid out on the counter. Take a bottle? No, seems like a bad idea. If we're gonna be attacked, you know? We all make mistakes. A notice taped here, it says, use the bathroom through the kitchen. Um, clown? I prefer drinking alone. You are creepy. <laughs> Garage clown. Okay, wait, am I missing something? Front garden? That's where we came from. Did we just leave? I feel like we should at least talk a little. Oh, wait, we can go here now. Never. Wait, the people disappeared here. Hello? Hello, how are you? Nice. Yeah, we already talked. You good? Yeah, just my poor attempt at talking like a robot. I'm sorry. I can't go through there. The skeleton is gone. Is he gonna kill me? Okay, it's still party time in here. Have I talked to the vampire yet? I'm just watching the room. Me too. Good, stay alert. Did something happen? Not yet, but I have a feeling about these things. Something bad may happen tonight. Uh-oh, I think I've talked to everyone else. Are you gonna be nice now, finally? Oh my god, you're still- No need to be rude. Whatever. Alright, I'm going out of here. I'm not, I feel like drinking is a bad idea. How do I, can I leave? All the way there. Sorry, don't scream at me. I was trying to click on the hallway door, you peas. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Walk home. I should stay a while before heading home. Okay, I guess we do drinks. That's the only option I have. Well, here we go. Things are laid out on the counter. Take, oh, what if we take a bottle and don't drink it yet? Now we have a bottle. Take another one. I've already taken one. Uh, can I share my drink with someone? You want a drink? Uh, you look great anyway. Okay, well, I guess I drink it. Wait, I can use this on someone. Give it to... Wait, 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 wait. I can talk to someone. Who is nice? Who do we talk... Drink with the garage clown? That seems like a bad idea. Uh, isn't she our friend? Let's give her... You know I don't drink beer. Shit. I didn't know that. I had no idea who you are. I'm trying to make up as I go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, skeleton. I've already had quite a bit to drink. You enjoy it. God damn it. Uh, I already have a drink. Uh, thanks, though. That's nice of you, but I don't drink. Dude, this is the least realistic college party of all time. No, I must stay alert. I already have a drink, but thanks anyway. No, thank you, human. Dot, dot, dot. She doesn't even... So sweet. No, thanks, though. I already have one. God damn it, everyone. It's too freaking responsible, bro. Well, I guess we're drinking with you. Perfect. Here, take this. I have a spare. Clown nose? <laughs> Excuse me? Do I give that to the guy in the front? You want this? No? Honk, honk. Hello. Um, what now? <laughs> Can I talk to maybe my friend here? You want this? No? Who wants this? Where would I ever use this? <laughs> no one even gives a shit. No one responds to me. It's 
first special clown in my life. I'm trying it on you guys too. None of you guys want it. I think I'm gonna leave now. I think I think I've done enough to be able to leave probably. Walk home. That's not what I, I tried to walk home. I should stay while before heading home. Bro, I've done everything. Mirror anywhere? Can we change our costume? It said that there was a toilet through the kitchen, but there is no. Because I'm trying to click on this door and it's not allowing me to. So I don't know. There's got to be some way. Um, where do we go? More drinks? Some drinks are laid out on the counter. I can take another bottle. Wait, can I just feed this clown a bunch of drinks? You want another one? Thanks. Okay. I prefer drinking alone. <laughs> he just he looks at what's all of it. Do I drink one myself, I guess? What if he just... What if I just give him so many drinks? <laughs> Here you go again, sir. Thanks. Dude, he's gonna fucking die. Try again. Here you go, sir. <laughs> okay. The washing machine in the kitchen? No, it's this hallway. I can't interact with that. All right, I think it's time for me to drink. Drink a bottle. Now what? I didn't do anything. I thought that was like, the only way to continue. Okay, uh, well then. Do we drink more? I'm just watching the room. Okay, everyone, no one wants to freaking talk. Are you okay? For now? Do we have to drink so much or what now? Because I don't think there's anything else. Well, here we go. Time to drink more, I guess. Can I just spam? This seems bad. I probably shouldn't. I'm a bit of a lightweight. Yeah, we shouldn't have drank anything in the first place. Time to use the bathroom. I tried to click on this door many times, but we can't go there. Uh, I can't go upstairs. I've been on this party for so long. Keys? Is there a key over here? I tried to click on the keys. It's not allowing me to click on it, you see? Someone just leaving their phone laying around. Everyone thinks I'm just kind of, you look great anyway. Dining room? Is there a room that I haven't gone to here? Oh, there's an extra room. I didn't know that. Okay, zombie, hello. Don't get too close. I might eat your brains. Pizza might be better. You might be right. <laughs> Put so much effort into my costume and no one knows what I am. Are you a clown? What are you? You look great. Oh, stop. I suppose that's all that matters. Uh, question mark, question mark. No one knows. Pirate? I'm a fucking pirate. <laughs> are you drunk? I can see that. Of course you can. I dress like one. <laughs> Victorian woman. I know my costume's not scary, but I like it. I like it. Thank you. I like yours too. Everyone's so nice. See, if you're nice to people, they're nice to you. Oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, very well, thank you. Oh, good. Would you like a drink? I've already had so many. I'll get you a drink. You don't have to, unless you're getting one anyway. Thanks. I'm gonna talk to you first. I'm not really in the mood for the party. Why did you come? That's <laughs> why did you come? Thought it would take my mind off of things. Oh, well, me too. Here you go, sir. You got me a beer, thanks. Okay, can I get some pizza? Oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, pretty bored? That's too bad. Maybe I could get you a drink? No, thanks. Do we give the nose to this lady? Wait, 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 that's gotta be, come on. That's not it? You're a ghost? Yes, a ghost dog. Finally, someone gets it. She's a ghost dog? What the f- All right, well, I don't know what we're doing with the clown nose, though. Can I give it to one of you guys? I can't give it to anyone. I tried to give it to you, but it doesn't work. All right, so now we've talked to literally everyone, which means we're either gonna go here or we're gonna leave. We've literally talked to everyone. I'm going home. I'm out of here. Go home. We've literally done everything. So yes, goodbye. Maybe we should take a beer so we can smack someone over the face if they try to fight us. We can hit them with the bottle. It's a weapon. Why is that? Is that like based on... <laughs> Because every time in movies, they, they portray beer bottles as like the strongest weapon of all time. Whenever someone gets hit by a beer bottle and it crushes on their face, 
the person that got hit like fucking dies they, they fall on the floor and they're like they're knocked out is that actually true like i've never been hit by a beer bottle but it's always in movies it's like like metal like baseball bat i sleep beer bottle i fucking die <laughs> like what the hell all right i go home it does hurt a lot if it's full the power of beer? Okay, well, this is gonna be scary. Wait, they got there again! They took my beer, bro! That was my weapon! Glass hurts. It's thick glass. Oh, God. Home? Is there any other way to go? I locked my door! Front garden? There is indeed blood there, by the way. Well, then. Unlock front door, yes. Enter! <laughs> Lock it. I have kept everything. I've already locked this window. Please tell me I didn't forget to lock something. Um. I'm going upstairs. Now do I go upstairs? I'm, uh, living room. Is living room the way upstairs? This is such a nice living room. What a nice house, man. I've already locked this window. I know. I made sure of that. Uh, office, entryway. Upstairs. Here we go. <coughs> Okay, don't kill me, please. All the windows are still locked. Bathroom mirror. We're still fine. Can we put on the clown nose? We can't put on the clown nose. I should take this off. There we go. Put on the nose. <laughs> Maybe we should have kept it on to jump scare them. Someone looking out the window? Already locked this window? I feel like I dropped something. Oh, well. Yeah, you dropped the clown nose. What the hell? What are we supposed to do with the clown nose then? Did I miss something? Go to bed. I guess. Did I lock this? Wait, wait, wait. I've already locked this window. I've already locked this window. I think everything is locked. Please don't kill me. Check office. I didn't... I mean, I locked the window there. Uh-oh. What is that sound? Uh-oh. No, don't unlock the front door, you dumbass! The fuck? Oh my god, there's someone at the back door, bro. Don't unlock that shit, are you crazy? What the fuck? Call the police! Come on. Why didn't I pick it up? We lived? We actually lived! We got the good ending! <laughs> well, I'm assuming that if you didn't lock the door, you would've got- Yeah, why did we call 999? You would've got him fucking murdered there? Alright. You didn't even finish the story, sir. Is this the lady from that story? I heard a story about Valentine's Day. Would you like to hear it? Yes. That was very nerve-wracking, but we saved the lady! Let's go! Oh, look at this. The story takes place on the night of St. Valentine, the shop's busiest night of the year. Oh, look at this. Sign. The sign reads, Valentine's Day chocolates for sale, special Valentine's recipe. I don't need these right now. We're gonna need those flowers later. We got that classic rug. Hello, sir. You came in all kinds of creepy. Good evening. I would like some flowers. They're for my wife. She loves red roses. All right. Let me get some red roses for you right there. Put them in the wrapping paper. And there you go. Thank you. You threw me one coin. Coin for your witcher. What the hell? Uh, books on love. No one has asked for one yet. Okay, I see. Uh, yeah, yes. Oh, they just appear. I shouldn't disturb her her right now. Hello. Um, I'm looking for a book uh, on love. <laughs> well, look what we got. We got a book on love right here. You want it wrapped? No, you want, just want it straight away? Thank you. A single coin. Dot, dot, dot. Love the window here. Holy, that's such cool <laughs> decorations. Hello. I placed an order for chocolates. Uh, chocolates? There were- wait, where? I don't remember seeing chocolates. 
I mean, it's it must be in reserve somewhere. Do I go into this door? To get the chocolates? Yeah, there we go. Knock, knock. That'll be five coppers, please. There you go. What the hell? Chocolates. Thank you. Ding, ding, ding. Everyone looks like a vampire. Yeah, they do kind of look scary. This is... How is this going to turn into terrifying? Uh Oh, that's how. Hello there, are you? What the fuck? I'm here to pick up some flowers. Something colorful and exotic. Also some chocolates. All right, something colorful and exotic. I mean, frag fragrant flowers? Mixed flowers? Wait, you don't... Pink dahlias? Wait, you wildflowers? Which one do you want, then? Oh, exotic flowers. There's just a bar. <laughs> There's flowers called exotic flowers. All right, then. There you go. Uh, I need some more chocolates. <laughs> Valentine's Day is already terrifying. There you go. There you go, sir. That's one. That's two. You better give me two coins for that one. You guys not pinning? Can I drink my cup of coffee? Looks so yummy. It's steaming and hot. I don't want to let that go cold. Looks like a Skyrim shop, kinda. You know- You! You! Do you know what kind of establishment this is? Do you? Do you know who you're working for? This is wrong! You must leave this job at once. Did you just- Ugh, I have to go! What the fuck? So rude? You see this store? It looks so nice. Who are we working for? <laughs> We're working for Grandma Lady. She's fine. Unless she's crazy. Hello. Fetch me some blue or orchids. And a book of erotica. I don't have all day. Alright, alright, alright. Here you go, here you go. We got so many flowers. Book on... Erotic book. Here you go. She knows what she wants and she's here to get it. Thank you for the coin. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> vampire ass lady. Yeah, they do <laughs> look more and more like vampires every time. Hello. Chocolate. That's all you, you just walk into a supermarket, say the word. Why does lady keep coming downstairs? Why don't you just give me a bunch of chocolates? Are we poisoning these people? Hey, 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 hey. The fuck, introverts? She, she said three, she said two words. Chocolate and eh. Maybe she's bad at English, that's fair. I have to step out for a minute, mind the shop while I'm gone. If anyone asks for chocolates, then I'll be back soon, and to wait... I'll be back soon, and to wait, or they'll... They can come back later. Tell them I'll be back soon, and to wait, or they can come back later. I didn't see the tell them. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this sentence? Well, one of them is gonna wait and be very annoying, probably. Who the frick are these people? Yeah, what the hell? No one's coming in. This is... I mean, they did say it was the busiest day of the year. We've been getting co customers left and right, non-stop. Uh, no one's coming in, though. Can I just go in here now? Can I sneak in this to this door? The door is unlocked. She never leaves it unlocked. Go down into the workshop. Yes. I gotta. I need your strongest chocolates. Should I continue? Yes. She's gonna... She's killed, like, 17 people down here. What the fuck? The only use for numbing potions. Use for potions of mind control. What the fuck? Memory loss potion. Nerve pain. Hallucinations. Death potion. Coated fragrant flower in something special. Prepare the poison chocolates. No, she poisoned the chocolates. What are the customers doing with the flowers and chocolates? Uh oh. Wait a minute. Have they been murdering their partners well fuck i'm gonna run into the lady um what oh god what is that excuse me that's crazy looking <laughs> can i click it nope i'm so gonna die forbidden beef jerky i thought i had told you not to come down here 
get in the cage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's truly a scary story. Did you live through that? What the fuck was that story, lady? All right, then. Man eating a salad. I've got a Christmas story you might find interesting. Uh, did something... That's, did I drop some frames? We're fine. We're fine, guys. I'm just waiting a sec. I think we're all okay, though. Refresh. <laughs> we saw none of that? You didn't? Because I got just kidnapped by a lady. She killed me. She put me in the cage with the forbidden beef jerky. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sure it was interesting. <laughs> yeah, I did kind of get murdered. I don't know if there was a way to get a good ending there. It's fine. It was just the lady came back and she was like, get in the cage. And then I died. <laughs> All right. I've got a Christmas story you might find interesting. Let's see it. Want to hear it? What if you just say no to all of these? Yes, of course. I would love... Oh, it's on a train. It's the eve of Christmas and the train is rapidly approaching the station. Arthur Marlowe is on the train, but nowhere to be found. Okay. Present. It's not time yet. This is such a cool art style. I wonder how they made this. Not long now. My train ticket. I have some photos to take. Take the photo, then, take the camera then. Station 13, it's uh, observation duty all over again. Apartment 7. Hello. Ask about him. Ask, ask about him. I really would prefer just to read my paper. Man complaining about his bag, wearing a blue suit. Not sure where he is right now. Ask about her. I love riding the train. I'd, I'd l live on one if I could. At this time of year, with the snow, it's magical. They seem like they have a very good relationship. Oh, what a cute name. I haven't talked to anyone called Arthur on the train. All right. Maybe they don't even know each other. Hello. My sister will be waiting for me at the station. I'm so excited. I don't recognize the name. A man just bumped into me, though. His glasses nearly flew off, and he almost knocked me over. I didn't, didn't even apologize. Rude. Hello there. I hate Christmas. I bet everyone here is going to visit family. Jesus Christ. Never heard of him. What a party pooper. I think I I think I might fall asleep. Mm, sorry, don't know him. Why does she look like Triss Marigold from Witcher 3? <laughs> I'm heading home. I'd like to spend a week before Christmas with my family. The actual day I love to sp but the actual day I love to spend alone. Ask about Arthur Marlowe. Marlowe, the fidget, fidgety man from Cabin 5? Probably pestering the staff about something. Oh, hello there. Ask for a glass of wine. Right away, sir. Drink, drink. Uh, can I drink it? Or give it to someone, probably? I'm only here to serve drinks. Ask about him. I'm on my way to visit my family for the holidays. I moved to the city for work. Most of them live in the countryside. Arthur Marlowe? There's a Mr. Marlowe in, the, in compartment five. I overheard him complaining about his bag. Not sure what happened to it. Am I this guy? Me? I'm headed back home with my husband. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Arthur Marlowe, you say? Hmm. You know, I'm pretty thirsty. Maybe you could get me a drink before we talk. Wait, you? I have your... I get a drink. Thanks, sweetheart. I thought I heard a woman on the platform say goodbye to an Arthur just before we got on the train. He was wearing a hat, but I could see a lovely shade of copper hair poking out. Okay. I've been on a work trip. Nothing special. I'm headed home. Of course. <laughs> I know many people named Arthur. None on this train. Can I get another drink? I can't. <laughs> this lady, yeah. <laughs> Compartment five, right? Wait, 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 wait. Compartment five? No one's there. There's a hat. All right, well, can I go further backwards? Storage compartment, hello there, I see. I need to get the present, okay. I didn't pick that up earlier. Oh! 
<laughs> it's time. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> well then, I see what kind of present this is. Uh oh. <laughs> well, here we go. Do we talk to him first? It's time. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's the end of the story. They want a mysterious story. Is there another person? This is, this is such an interesting concept. But a unique way. And then, now what? Do we really have the stories get different endings? I've got a Christmas story. I already did it. There was no other way I could... Could I shoot some other people? What if we killed other people? I was hoping there would be some way to, like, wrap it up at the end. But I've talked to everyone. Unless there's something I've missed. Uh... Yeah, what is that story? What is the girl's story? It was crazy. I mean, the guy, the guy's story was the most normal. Um, I'm assuming I... I can't get out anywhere. I, I, I think that's... Yeah, because I can replay these stories and get different endings, but I don't think so. Don't go in the basement during the Valentine's story. I mean, obviously, there's potentially more endings, but we're just going to be playing through them. Uh, so I think that was just a neat little experience. Uh, and it's also perfect at the end of the stream. So, yeah, I, I wish there was some way to wrap that up, but it's a nice little... Um, I mean, I like the way it was it was framed, but there should have definitely been something at the end to tie it all together. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for chilling today. We mostly just played the Observation Duty game, but I, we had some more time, so I wanted to play one more game. Um, let's see. Oh, God. I have errors on YouTube, too. Uh, thank you so much for chilling. If you want to watch some more of me, I will be... Tomorrow, I will be uploading um, the new Shadows of Doubt. Today, I uploaded uh, an Observation Duty game. And since most of the stream is an Observation Duty game, you probably like that. So go check that out if you want. I'll link it in YouTube first. Thank you guys so much for chilling over on YouTube. Hope you had fun. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night, everyone. I'll see you around. Take care.